still pretty cool. Oh, there's nothing in this. I already finished the coke. Oh well. But the new update uh, for Honkai Star Rail comes out tomorrow. I do coke. Yes, I do coke. I like to drink. Why? What's up? Why are you surprised? Why are you surprised? I do coke. Oh yeah, me and my coworkers today make it made a joke about coke because uh, my coworker he uh, they brought like this like Turkish Turkish delight and had a lot of white powder and we were making a joke about like doing a line of the white powder. You missed the drug joke. I didn't miss the drug joke. I just let it happen. <laughs> Rit, I didn't miss the drug. Uh, the rug. The I'm not having a seizure. I swear. <laughs> I did miss the drug joke. That's all. Oh, so this is the thing. Record of reflect. Reflective writing. Upon returning to Mondstadt, you, are, you encounter a light novelist. Following her script, you embark on a wondrous journey of reading and reverie. Alright, we'll do this one. First, let's finish Albedo's story quest. Goku! Action time just got an update. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What's the... Play Fortnite and got a new skin? Oh, cool. What's the skin, Bala? Has aneurysm, that's funny. Okay, what's the update? I didn't see an update when I opened it like two hours ago. What's the update for Action Time and then Goku, spill. It's a singer in Metallica? Oh, is it? Oh, I was gonna say Kiss, but <laughs> I was like, Kiss? Oh wait, no, you just said Metallica. What the? <laughs> Big idiot. Okay, what's the update, buddy? Did they continue the story? Because if they did, I might just, you know, almost immediately switch from uh, Genshin Impact to uh, Action Time and Or I'll just play Action Time and tomorrow. Because the deadline for the Catastrophe of Yomihara is coming soon and I haven't made too much progress on it. Phantasma can now be bought with gems. Also, a new event uh, opened. Fuma's Day. Oh, yeah! You. Rit, you sent me that! Where, where do I access the surprise event? Is it, like, on the event screen? Also, is it a one-day event, or is it just a new event? You're back. Good timing. I okay, we're finishing Albedo's story quest, things. and then we'll do this limited time event that, uh, I just got from Genshin. You took quite a while. Did you get held up on the way back? Quite literally. By a sister, no less. Uh, I wouldn't worry. She's just doing her job. Time for the results. We got a myriad of data today, and it was very difficult to finish all the research in one go. But the integral preliminary conclusion that I can offer you is you're very much like a human from yeah, this world. Yeah, you are useful, right? What do you mean? You are always useful. That's it? You couldn't tell that just by looking? We spent all day working our butts off for that? Please, I understand that this may have seemed self-evident to you, but in fact, oh, you can get a new supporter. Oh, cool. Taken for granted. Is there a period, or is it today only? Have you ever considered that the world of Tavat may have a natural hostility to Outlanders? Only the gods would know. I mentioned the natural laws of this world. You're able to converse with me here without consequence. Well, Paimon taught Aether how to speak <laughs> in this world. It's arguably a small miracle. What I want like only like in the song. The only other life form that, like you, has come here from afar, is the seed that I mentioned. Under the effects of Tavat's natural. Oh, next laws, couple of weeks. Alright, thanks for the update, Goku. I'll be probably playing blue. action time and in tomorrow then. But after I observed you, I had another idea. Imitating you helped to inspire my alchemy. And so The transition from nothing into something, from shoot to stem, and now to fruition. Is not nurturing otherworldly life also nurturing the world itself? Aww. It was beautiful. It was so short-lived. <sighs> it would seem that that's as far as we go. A transient bloom of incomparable beauty. 
life's proudest achievement. Hyman thought with all our efforts, it might have bloomed forever. And it didn't even have any fruit. Hey, with Alberto, who knows? Life is a manifold tapestry of free entities. Its value shouldn't derive from how long it stays with us. Even a momentary burst is precious. A short life can be well lived. True that. A life lived efficiently, lived to perfection, is necessarily one unburdened by loneliness. So, do you understand what I meant about us conversing here arguably being a small miracle? Well, I haven't with her just yet. I wonder how my sister is. No swearing, no, no. Well, yeah, Automod might stop you. <laughs> Don't be sad. You've got Paimon to look after you. Albedo, Paimon really wants to be your friend. Thank you both. Even if dispelling loneliness is not essential for life, it certainly doesn't hurt. Your help inspired me to discover the means to make a flower bloom. So I'm a helpful specimen? I mean that the time I've spent traveling with you in the mountains was a valuable journey for me. In the future, if the need arises, can I solicit your help again? Sure, even if you just want some company, find me anytime. Well, glad I can count on you. Time for your time to shine? Rit, what do you mean? What's going on? I made a point throughout of telling him how ordinary the results were. Swearing like a stretch, oh my gosh. What was I saw forming at the bottom of the vial? It should not have been there. What could it mean? Those born of earth are bound by its imperfections. But those born of chalk are free of impurities. You and I are alike. Both composed of a substance that has yet to be fully defined. If, one day, I lose control. Destroy Mondstadt. Destroy everything. Um, sure. I gave you permission. Just, just careful. Can I rely on you to stop me? Wait, what? What is this foreshadowing with Albedo? What the freak was Albedo going on about? What the heck? Bro, what is that second word, Rip? What the heck? Ah! <laughs> Just keep climbing. I need to teleport. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is that? Imaginary maze of true heroes? Oh, shoot, it's here. Let's just teleport. No censorship yet. Second, I can't spell German version of... Oh! That's just the S word with an E at the end. That's how you do it, Rit. Because it looked like you were trying to type sheesh. Yeah, there we go. That's German. <laughs> I have a feeling. After everything, I finally made it to the place where the story of those two legends began. Seeing how much I've given to be here. Surely fate will smile upon me too. It won't be long now before I'll meet them once more. What's that person rambling on about? Judging from how she's dressed, she doesn't seem to be from Mondstadt. Do you think she's from Inazuma? Aha! You're here, and even sooner than expected. Time for a cheer to celebrate our reunion, twin stars of brilliant valor. It's been too long, old friend! So soka Is that you? Paimon never would have expected to see you here at Mondstadt. What a pleasant surprise! But weren't you previously helping Haniya prepare for the next tournament? How come you're in Mondstadt all by yourself? Don't ask questions. Oh, you'll come to my house, you don't know where I live. And all those books in front of you. You're not here to recommend novels to passers-by, are you? Ah, uh, well, I suppose the main reason is... I'm being hunted down by Yai Publishing House's editors. Hunted down? Don't worry, they're not literally going to kill me. They're just constantly pressing me to submit my work by whatever means necessary. I guess if you think about it, they're doing it for my own good. As a once popular light novelist, I had to keep producing new content non-stop both to satisfy a reader's voracious appetites and to maintain my popularity. But the speed at which our readers get through it all seems to know no limits. If I didn't keep up, it would be long before I found myself completely snowed under by new requests. But I couldn't bring myself to rush through the story of my fungi buddies just to get it finished. After all, it takes time to come up with a good idea and then gradually refine it. If possible, I'd like to finish writing up the whole story, then go through the revision process before finally publishing it in its entirety. 
The last thing I want is to agree to serialize, and then have to rush to meet the deadlines for each issue. So for now, I decided to start working on a new main piece with a simpler, more manageable story instead. This way, at least the readers won't forget me. That sounds exhausting. Guess you've got no choice. Tell you, like, the state? Okay, what state are you in? I guess, that's what you wanted me to tell you, right? Who'd have thought it? And to think, Paimon used to reckon light novelists had it easy. Oh, no, they don't. They have to find some inspiration to write their stories. It doesn't come out of nowhere. A bit of sightseeing here, a bit of field research there, then poof! They write their novel in a fit of inspiration. The Mora starts rolling in, and it's time to start living the good life. In reality, only the most naturally gifted writers work like that. For the rest of us, simply planning out and finding the inspiration for the next daily chapter is already enough to drive you to the edge of exhaustion. Oh, what state I'm in? I'm in a state. There you go. Most people can only write so much before they start getting writer's block, and in all honesty, I'm no different. Why else would I have come all this way to Mondstadt with nothing more to go on than an old folk legend? So this folk legend's the key? I'm guessing it involves this book on the table. Spot on! And my plan is to use pictures on a broadcasting device to turn my novel into an audiovisual, three-dimensional reading experience. Oh shoot, <laughs> Soka's creating light novels in Genshin Impact. The title of this all-new avant-garde work of mine is Labyrinth of Legend, A Hero's Journey. A hero of extraordinary ability unknowingly enters a treacherous labyrinth devised by an evil sorcerer, where they must navigate their way past a whole series of complex mechanisms and deadly traps before finally unearthing the secrets that lie deep within. But I haven't figured out how it's all going to go yet. Hey, you've certainly got Paimon's attention. And I'll have to think carefully about the core contradictions and rhythm of the story. With serial novels, the key is to keep the reader on the edge of their seat, so the various puzzles that the hero encounters in the labyrinth will need to be the main story driver. I just so happened to hear talk of a domain in Mondstadt filled with all kinds of mysterious mechanisms, so I rushed over here as soon as I could, found it, and started my investigations. You're always so spontaneous, Soka. So, did you find any inspiration for your puzzles in there? There was certainly no shortage of inspiration, but I haven't managed to think of any ingenious solutions to the puzzles yet, without which the plot still feels pretty weak. All it took was a regular trap to give me a complete battery, and now the clothes Miss Hania bought me are all ruined. Still, I came out with just enough intel to draft a few important sections. When it comes down to it, I'm no hero, nor do I have any special abilities, so it's no wonder that I can't come up with specific solutions to the puzzles. But for you two, the famous twin stars of Brilliant Valor, that won't be a problem at all. Well, this isn't a surprise, but it's not like we have godlike superpowers or anything, so what made you think of us? Well, there's no way I could hire a whole team of talented individuals to come gather material for me. As such, I need an intermediary who's closely connected to all sorts of powerful individuals to help me explore the domain. And you, Godfrey, are the most experienced, well-connected, and popular person in all of Tavat. That I can think of. Simply follow the script I've provided and immerse yourself in a world of text, film, and your own imagination. And once you're in the zone, I'm sure you'll be able to think of suitable heroes and work out how they'd overcome the perils of the labyrinth based on whatever the situation before you calls for. Uh, you mean me? I do seem like the right person, don't I? Imagining what happens based on text and images in a novel. We've never tried anything like this before. It's almost like we're becoming authors, too. If all the different people we know came to face this domain, full of all kinds of mechanisms, there'd certainly be a high chance of lots of wacky stuff happening. Stuff that ordinary people wouldn't even think of. And that's why you'd be perfect. This way we can work together to finish designing my new book. On my end, I'll be sure to write a best-selling light novel. And when that happens, I'll credit you as the co-writer, and we'll split the proceeds. <laughs> You can always trust all the friends to be generous. All right then, let's give it all we've got. Uh, permission to help Bella, Bella try? Nah. All right, bye. I gotta go play Fort Outcome. Oh, okay. Have fun with uh Fortnite. Why is Soka? <laughs> yeah, Soka does need to buy a block clock. Solve the problem with us. <laughs> What's good, everyone? It's Genshin Impact. Glass Avenger. Thank you for the stream. No, uh, for the stream. Thanks for joining. Alright. Thanks for joining, Bala. 
Have fun with Fortnite. The challenge contains both collection and evasion phases, and you will have to evade periodic incoming barrages from the mechanisms while collecting Labyrinth coins during the allotted time. Collect Labyrinth coins to gain points, adventure risk, and risk level. The higher the risk level, the greater the volume of incoming fire and the more Labyrinth coins that will appear. If no Labyrinth coins are collected for some time, risk energy will rapidly decrease. The mechanisms fire several types of ammo, normal bullets, homing rounds, and laser webs. You will lose HP after getting hit by normal bullets, homing rounds, or laser webs. If your HP gets zeroed out, it will be reset along with your risk level, and you will gain temporary invincibility. Story about Pine will be a good story. Yeah, it would be a good story. Oh, thank you, Glad. <laughs> Defeat Wicked Warlocks to earn Labyrinth Coins. Larger Wicked Warlocks have higher HP. The elemental skills of some characters can quickly defeat them. Use your adventure techniques will to decrease the threat of the bullet barrages and accrue score faster. Can be used up to three times in a single challenge. After using your adventure technique, gain all the following effects at the same time. 1. Transform all normal bullets and homing rounds in the field into labyrinth coins. 2. Your character's movement speed will be increased. Their movement will not consume stamina and they will become invincible for 7 seconds. 3. Your character gains an auto-attack aura, which will automatically attack all wicked warlocks within range once every 2 seconds for 7 seconds. Am I going into a bullet hell? So, how did you get on, Godfrey? The script has a lot of background info, so you must come up with quite a few ideas for the plot, yes? Of course! That's great. Once you've sorted your ideas, please write down the key points. I'll come back and refer to them when I get on to embellishing the story later on. Given how well we understand one another, you don't need to go into too much detail. I'm sure I'll get the gist. Wait, I, what? Before we do that, can we talk about the planning? Oh, seems like my script has brought out your inner creator. As I mentioned, my plan is to use pictures and a broadcasting device to turn my new work into a lively three-dimensional reading experience. But as for how I'll do that, I'm still brushing up on my knowledge and trying to make the plan as logical and pragmatic as possible. After all, your imagination is quite immense. Most readers are far less imaginative, so I need to give them more details to work with. However, our number one priority is to find a way to reduce the costs. If this novel costs the same as 50 regular ones, sales are going to suffer, and they'll all have been for nothing. Pictures should be easy to get our hands on, just like illustrations were. The broadcasting device, however, is another matter. If you use imported Fontanian technology, each book will end up with a six-figure price tag. Ugh, I'll have to give it some more thought. Any news about Hania? Oh yes, of course. You must be curious how our fungi friends have been holding up too, right? Rest assured, the fact that I can even be here shows that they both, they and the tournament preparations are all doing just fine. Hania has already finished planning said tournament, while sponsors have been secured. We just need to sort out all the staff and materials. Then, we can gradually get the ball rolling with all the pre-tournament promotions. But most importantly, the timing of the event will be key. We'd rather delay it than let the tournament's reputation slide, and we want to avoid letting our audience and contestants down at all costs. We might have to wait a half a year, or even a whole year, before the right moment comes along. Anyway, we'll take it step by step. In the meantime, Hania has finished with all her business affairs for now, so when you get a chance, come pay us and our fungi friends a visit at the campsite. I'll give it some thought. No problem, we got plenty of time, and no matter how many ideas you jot down, I'll remember all of them. Okay, so we did that. Event details. Oh, the first two are open. Let's start. Oh, I can just start from here, thank god. I'm Clorand! Oh. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Ow! Ah! Oh, there's a cooldown! Ah! Well, it's not rich people gaming, per se. Oh, wait! I have an auto attack aura, that's right. In 
into the shadows. Oh, those were homing rounds. Take evasive action? Ah! I mean, yeah, but with, like, how the Genshin characters move, it makes sense to me. Oh, uh, last wave of projectiles incoming? Oh, no! Oh, okay, whoops. Pretty much. Oh, I did it! Is that not enough? Lordly Labyrinth coins collected? Let me see. Oh, I got it! Okay, cool, cool. I got it all. Okay, cool. Let's start this challenge. In Ginsokyo Bullet Hell? So not Toho? Oh wait, it's Shenyun! This is my bread and butter, guys. This is my bread and butter. Difficult increase. Look at this inbound. Huh. Oh, whoops. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I see. That's creative. Okay. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, wow. They... they... They're amazing for letting me play Shinyan in this. Ow! Up. Uh, oh my gosh! Look at all the coins! Whoa! So much. Oh wait, Lordly! Oh, those must be the Lordly coins that people speak of here. Oh! Yeah, Toho. Toho's a forgotten name. Okay, well, to be fair, you're right. It is an old. Uh oh. Uh oh. My risk levels are gonna. <laughs> My risk level's gonna be reset. Oh no. Ah, adventurous. Oh well. Ew. I have one more. One more adventure technique. What's with this Mario stage? I don't know. It's because they want to make use of Gensh- uh, of Shenyun. Ha! May give me all the coins! Okay. Yay! Okay. I mean, Toho is still relevant. I mean, there's a gacha game for Toho, so... This one unlocks in seven hours. Yep. What is Gensokyo? I've never heard of Gensokyo. Never heard it before in my life. All right. What do we got? What do we got today? Xiao. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do Xiao's story quest. Imagine winning couldn't be me, bro. Telling me anyone got this because if I explain it, wouldn't be good. What for again, Sokyo? Yeah, oh, I no, oh, okay. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what again, Sokyo is. The spice, what spice? Oh, hey, Xiao, we got some hilly churls. You've seen so much spice, I bet you have. <laughs> Is there something weird about those hilly 
shells over there. They do give off a sinister energy. They seem unusually agitated. Paimon thinks so too. We've seen plenty of hilly trolls before, and they're always the bad guys. But this is different. Uh oh. This is right by the Wang Chuin too. I don't think so. <sighs> the guests are in great danger. Now that we've seen it, if we don't do anything about it, Paimon will feel really guilty. You will? Let's go take care of them. I don't think they farted at each other, just saying. Bam! Oh wow, these are some beefy hilly churls. What the fudge? Oh, uh, okay. It is. Raiden Shogun. R-A-I-D-E-N. Not Riding Shogun. That's funny. Oh! Thank you, Rip. I was thinking of Raiden from, like, Mortal Kombat. Could he be an Adeptus? Looking like he was using this part of Adeptus art. Oh, you mean like Xiao? Now that you mention it, this guy's mask is kind of similar to the one that he wears, but the magic he was using seemed even more Adeptus-y than Xiao's. Shall we go say hi? <laughs> I like to... Ride her thunder, so, wink wink. Please, if you're here to thank me, there's no need. Cleansing the Wait. world of evil. I would like to be the one she rides. There we go. I don't want to ride her thunder. One mm. certainly doesn't. Wait. Who are you? One had assumed you were followers, but on closer inspection it seems that we have not met. We're just travelers passing by. We're following the trail of the Adepti. One sees. One too shall introduce oneself. For it is good manners to comply. <clears throat> the one before you is the Adeptus, Master of Stars. The one is better known to one's followers as Star Snatcher. One descended from one's mountain abode to I heard. the world of evil. I'm just gonna let Paimon ride her high. Saw fit that our paths should cross. Now Wait, he's an Adeptus? Tell me that which you wish for. Our wishes? Paimon thought that the Adepti and Leilai were just really good in battle. You mean you can grant people's wishes too? <laughs> there are different levels of Adepti. You refuse to believe it? Same. They are not the stars, loftier than the mountains, clouds, and moon. Yet, it is unbecoming of an Adepti to... Do you stop clapping, bro? Powers. Like, dang, I didn't One think it'd be annoying. First speak to one's followers, Why would I rip and, and tear make his verdict. him like a new butt? Male believing. Seen the master of stars in action. His power truly hails from the divine. I believe that now there is finally some hope for my ailing father. Tell me about the master of stars. Watching him use his magic is all the proof you need. A true adeptus, no doubt about it. Not long ago, I sought some medicine from him on behalf of my ailing father. The difference with Boo Boo Pharmacy's prescriptions was like night and day, I tell you. Once it was boiled and ready, it gave off this really ethereal mist. Seemed pretty adeptal to me. Hm. Could have also been because there was misflower in it, though. Adepti medicine is surely. <laughs> Maybe the there's some misflower. That's probably it. <laughs> My father will recover soon. I just know it. Sure, you have to make some sacrifices. This male believer, I think, fell for a scam. Like I feel like he did. Stars. I had to give a few antiques as offerings. But my father's life is worth much more than a few old relics, right? Dude, I feel like these people got scammed. Mercantile believer? To do shifts when the Master of Stars is around, do they? What do you know about the Master of Stars? Uh, I'm a merchant. Nah, shall I come in. Had an especially valuable batch of goods that needed transporting recently. So I asked the Master of Stars if he would make the journey with me. As presumptuous as that was. Uh, reason being, monsters run a mile as soon as he so much as holds up his talisman. Uh, we didn't have the slightest bit of trouble the whole journey. I forgot, I need to update Senran Kagura New Link. But then, soliciting the services of an Adeptus is a monumental affair. Just look at the Rite of Dissension. So, I can accept it, but I doubt that most from outside of Liyue would be willing to.
Finally, a light full of hope and purpose. What are you? What are your thoughts on the Master of Stars? Oh, are you believers too? After my fiance had been left, I cried every day. I have not watched Delicious Dungeon yet. You read the manga? I saw the ending of the of the series actually. I was like, oh, it was really nice. But then I turned to the Master of Stars for help. At his suggestion, I started burning paintings of my fiance and casting the ashes into the ocean at sunrise. What the fudge? I can't explain it, but it really worked. <sighs> I know in my heart that he'll return. You already finished it? Yeah, I was surprised. I thought it was a continuing series, but it's a pretty short one, I guess. I'm so overjoyed. I should really watch it before I go to Anime Expo in like July. After all, if not for him, I wouldn't be getting my fiance back, in which case I wouldn't need it anyway. What the fudge, bro? This man is scamming these people. What do you think? One's adherence may exaggerate a little. But they speak from the heart. From their imaginations, I'd say... <laughs> Surely you jest. There was once a senior adeptus, Xie Wu Liang, known to the people as Liang Zi. He said this, All things are connected. That which mortals call imagination is merely the bridge betwixt the spiritual and the material. In other words, their wishes are already on the path of transitioning into reality. Does this make things clearer? Uh, nope. It makes them way more We should rip the mask off, yeah. But basically what you're saying is that their wishes can come true, right? Indeed. You are perceptive, my diminutive friend. Bro, right? Okay. And we would gladly take that. His star snatcher here is snatching people's money. Oh, you need but ask. Why do you wear a mask? Go on, take it off. Let me see. One wanders among mortals, doing. Bro, literally, look at all the other adepti. They don't wear these weird masks. Doesn't isn't the mask thing for the actions? To this realm than is necessary. Bro, right? He did hesitate. He did hesitate. What are your wishes? I want to know where my sibling is. Hmm. One senses that a tragic tale lies behind this wish. So be it. This wish is not beyond one's power to grant. But first, one must see some. Bro, this is a scam. He's gonna be like, bro, give me money. Money. The way of the Adepti cannot be grasped from words alone. One must seek the profound truths that lie beyond them. Should you fail to perceive one... Bro, hidden, right, Rit? Bro, I don't like Star Snatcher. I don't like him. lend you no aid. What do we do? Python doesn't understand him at all. I think he wants us to sweeten the deal. I think he wants some Mora. Oh, that's right. Some of those believers mentioned that they had to pay a pretty sum for the Adeptus' help, didn't they? Well, Paimon's not forking over any Mora, and we don't have anything valuable enough on us. You don't even have a vision. I don't think people put visions up for sale. No need to rub it in. Hey, why don't we make him a tasty snack? No one can resist the temptation of good food, can they? No one who shares your values, for sure. Yep, a tasty snack is sure to work. <laughs> Why don't we head over to Wan Wan Bookhouse and see if they got any new recipes in? Alright. All the way to Wan Min Bookhouse. Bro, I swear, some of these, like, story quests, like, or quests in general, like, you have to go, like, ungodly distances just to, like, get the one thing they need. That's weird. So, you'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Yes. Here, and keep the change. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. Star Snapper. <laughs> what a coincidence running into him again. It's Star Snatcher. Co coincidence or adept 
I always found him fishy. Perhaps he's a narcissist? Really? What's so fishy about him? Why would an adeptus want people to pay him Mora? Huh. That's a good point. None of the other adepti we've met seemed like they needed anything from anyone. Hmm. Paimon thinks we should check out that book. Maybe we'll find out something about this guy that we can use. Are we gonna buy a book ourselves? I guess we are. No. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to read the sign. Jafang. Hey there. We'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian of Death. Do you have one in stock? Huh? Since when did that old chestnut become a bestseller? You're a rare breed of youngster if this is what you like to read. But you should be able to find a copy somewhere on that desk over there. Where? The desk here? Oh, Yaksha's the Guardian of Death Eye. Buy a book to learn great about somebody. <laughs> In ancient times, oh. Lula was a land of misery. Didn't expect this. Loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in Bro, right, Rip? forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters, and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter, purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them, phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished. Without a trace. We know what happened to the In fourth. the millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Guyan, and in the sound of the Dihua flute, Venti. is his memory preserved. <laughs> Venti just shows up like, Venti, what the fudge? <laughs> That's cool though, I like that cutscene. The fourth one, um accidentally got sucked into a domain. This book is about the Yakshas, a group of Adepti who defend Lyra. So basically, if you do one of the Archon quests, you actually learn what happens to the fourth Yaksha. And like he gets like sucked into like another like into a domain and ends up sacrificing himself to save Li Wei. And unfortunately like the way it happens, people don't know about it. So, it's sad. But you learn about it during uh, the Archon quest. About karma. Oh, about the sole surviving Yaksha. So, there used to be five main Yakshas. But supposedly, only one of them is still alive. Yeah, he's dead. He ended up withering away in the do domain. Do you think that it could have anything to do with that Star Snatcher guy? He like he literally ended up disappearing and sacrificing himself to save Liu Wei. It was really sad because they realized, oh shoot, Pe like the way it happened was like deep in the chasm or something like that. So people, it was so far away from civilization that no one heard about it. There was one survivor, but he was insane. So of course people didn't believe him or something like that. So no one knew what happened to the fourth Yaksha until now. Because I think that event happened like 500 years ago or something like that in this timeline. About karma. The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Yay, updated Senran Kagura! Yay! I need to play this game more. It's in Japanese, but I didn't learn my Japanese. Alright, well, I'm just glad I can play the game. Anyway. I need to play Sunder and Kagura on this, like, on here, like I really do. 
manage your agony. Oh, it's so tragic. After everything they went through and all their years of protecting Lila, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering and... Mm. About demons. The book says that the wrathful spirits of the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. All of which sound pretty horrendous. Oh, hey, wait a second. I'm on wonders if... Do you think those super evil hilly trolls we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? Nothing else that I can think of. Yep. Paimon thinks we've already summed up all the key points. So back to the matter at hand. The things we need answers on are one, where did those super evil looking hilly trolls come from? And two, what does Star Snatcher have to do with the Yakshas, right? Now to head back to where this all started and commence our investigation. Let's part the fog of mystery that hangs over Joy and Karst and let the truth shine through in its full glory. You so we're playing detective now, are we? You're way too into this. <laughs> to be honest, hopes he is a real adeptus. Uh, his exorcism technique seemed real enough, at least. Nah, I'm pretty sure he was manipulating those elite trolls. get our hopes up, there's further for them to come down. So, it makes sense to investigate thoroughly first, just to be sure. Alright, let's head back to Wang Chu Inn! Man, I have to feel for Xiao, because literally all of his, like, brothers and sisters literally died, and he's just the only survivor. He's just chilling in an age of peace where Yakshas don't fit well, because Yakshas are literally made to kill. Yeah, Xiao deserves a hug. Like, legit, Xiao really does deserve What the fudge? Flee at my command, foul demons. I feel bad for these Healy Turtles. They're being manipulated by Star Snatcher. Flee. Don't you flee? Uh-oh. Looks like Star Snatcher's in trouble. And there are innocent bystanders here, too. Uh, we have to step in. What parlor trick, pretty much. What? So, where's Shao coming in? Where's Shao, or Shao coming into all this? Make way for the adductor. Skyward, yeah. Why didn't the sigil of permission do anything? Has the evil aura of these hilly churls grown in intensity? Sigil of permission, huh? Now why does that sound familiar? Ah uh, yes, the get of Jueyun free card. So that's what he was using for his exorcisms. Right. It's a keepsake of the Adepti. So it must still contain traces of their power. <gasps> I wonder he was able to scare those monsters away earlier. What are you two babbling on about? I do have Discord. You can actually check out my Twitch channel. There's a link to my Discord server. Is not in full flow. Were one but given another opportunity. Well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of evil hilly churls over there. Should we leave them to you then? I, uh, uh, one suddenly feels ill at ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. <sighs> so you were just bragging after all. We were right to be suspicious. <sighs> Come on, traveler. Looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight and hunt them down. One is really my Discord server should be one in there. You, you can send the link right. I don't mind. Wantonly. The Discord server should be on my Twitch page. Ah, uh, that's weird. If you can't see it, Goku, that's weird. <laughs> Watch it be something entirely different. Like, huh? Wait, where are you? No, you're not. Okay, that you're not the evil Healy Churl. Oh, it's that conqueror of demons again. No wonder. I'm always just wondering who could have made such short work of these Healy Churls. Let's see what a real Adeptus has to say about all this. It's you. 
I remember you. I remember you too. I was purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Huh? He isn't usually this polite. What's going on? But you are exercising demons. How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Or more precisely, from the karma I have accumulated. Mutations? Karma? Oh, does that mean... We read about that in the book. So, Xiao is the final Yaksha. Yeah. Paimon remembers that Xiao is also called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't he? So... So that means... Oh. Poor Xiao! <laughs> I was like, what the fudge? We read about your past in a book. We were just reading a book called Yaksha's The Guardian of Dipti. I see. You must mean that piece of literati fan fiction from a few hundred years ago. <laughs> All things are impermanent, and to exist is to suffer. We Yaksha's have no need of sympathy or tears. False, you're the wrong. comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh, uh... Sorry. It matters not. In any case, I am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence. So we shall part ways here. Yay! Welcome to the Discord server, Goku. Wait, take us with you! We'll be a big help! Paimon promises! No need. I am used to fighting alone. Not that the, the Archon quest said otherwise. The originated from me to begin with. Well then... Oh! Consider it Paimon's parents for being accidentally rude just now please well i uh, come on then yeah yeah um, so Chow, you've been suffering from the bad karma all this time suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter i have come to accept this but in recent years other living things have suffered when the burden should be mine alone to bear I must reflect on this. Finish your preparations, and we shall enter. We should not leave those monsters be for too long. Yeah, he's an edgy boy. Karma Heavy Cavern. This place attracts monsters corrupted by sinister energy. According to Xiao, their mutation might be connected to his karmic death. Whoa! I will use the ritual known as the Bane of All Evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Quest specific effect. As a result of the buildup of divine karma in the area, Shao will have Bane of All Evil permanently activated and will constantly lose HP. Additionally, the effects of that Divine Karma will allow Xiao to regenerate HP when he deals damage to opponents. Oh wow. Yeah, he truly is an edgy boy. Oh wow, I'm actually just playing Shao. Ow. Be the power you got for being a vigilant Yaksha, right? 
Climax just realized that you only wear your mask when you're fighting the bad guys. But that Star Snatcher guy wears his mask the rest of the time, too. Star Snatcher? <laughs> I am aware of no Adeptus by such a name. So he is a fraud! Well, we'll continue this discussion later. You should focus on your battle for now. Wow. Wow. Shao is really a combo maker. Get out of my way. Oh wait, I can do this. Hey -o. Okay. Well. Oh, wave two of three? Ah, I, I, didn't, I don't really see that. Chow has a temper, but he can keep it under control. After all, he had to suffer eons of pain, after all. I mean, if he was one? Ah, I still don't see him. Oh, if he was a racist, yeah, he would be one heck of a racist. The way he says for him? Uh, maybe. I'm living that, uh, Pyro Abyss Mage for last. I'm gonna take this Hydro Samatrol out. Alright, where are you? Oh, man, it's actually pretty fun to play Shao. It is good that we came here. An unusual number of living things had fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now, this Star Snatcher you speak of, what is the situation? Ooh, Paimon will tell you! An Adeptus who grants wishes. To think that people could be so easily deceived by such blatant lies. As an Adeptus, do you have the power to grant wishes, Xiao? The Liyue of yesteryear would never ask the Adepti for boons unearned. Millennia ago, the ancestral people of Liyue asked for nothing more than the strength to defend you need the haircut, Red? called their home. I mean, he has a nice haircut, I'll say that. Uh, to be honest, an Adepti who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays. No, I already looked at it. I know about Shao's haircut. I think it's nice. People nowadays may be. They are not my concern. I concern myself only with following Rex Lapis's original decree. Oops. Hyman spoke without thinking again. Oh, uh, one more thing? That fake Adeptus has a sigil of permission. It's what he uses to exercise demons. Wait. Truly? <laughs> Fool. Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. Confiscate? Is that all? Great minds think alike! Paimon agrees. We've got to show that trickster what you get for trying to fool us. And it just so happens that we've got a real Adeptus with us, too. If Xiao were to teach Star Snatcher a lesson, you can bet he'll never dare to pose as an Adeptus ever again. No. I only slay demons. I do not kill mortals. Who said anything about killing him? <laughs> it would certainly benefit Liyue if we could convince him to cease his wicked ways. I possess an art called Dream Trawler. It is normally used to separate the soul from the body. 
that one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream, but it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Whoa. Now that's a real Adepti art for ya! Similar to gifting dreams and visions? You'll scare him out of his wits for sure. A ritual must be performed for this art to be used. Assist me in gathering a few items. A sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Reduce the temperature? Oh, some mist flowers will probably do, right? But as for the sensor and the seven lamps... Hmm... Probably not the kinds of things are gonna just stumble across in the wild. Do you know of the two Yaksha statues that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern face of Mount Tianhong? The ancestors of the people of Liyue built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. You should still be able to find some ceremonial items there. Once you have found them, meet me at the Yaksha statues after nightfall, and I will teach you how to use this art. Squishy banana babies? What the heck? What the heck, Rit? What you doing? Also, a sigil of permission? It's a talisman. That's what it is. It's literally just a talisman. The spirit soars the mountains high, while the body rests as the world goes by. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but... We'd like to borrow a sensor and some lamps. Well, I'll be. Isn't that something? A pair walk into a shrine, neither to... It is, but in this case, it's essentially kind of like a talisman. But to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. <laughs> Pervases, no, that's not what you think. I know it's rude to ask, but we just need them for a short while. Honest. For the dream trawler ritual, I trust. <gasps> How'd you know that? I have been in the shrine for far longer than you would expect. Perhaps as a reward for my faithfulness, I have been endowed with some understanding of the Adepti arts. Wow. I once never heard of that happening before. Ah, uh, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these items may be of service to you. They serve little purpose here, in any case. Something on your mind? Well, thanks, man. You are quite welcome. Please, take what you wish. This sensor should be fine, right? At least it isn't as run down as the shrine. So Take that giant piece of gold. Grab the seven star lamps, right? The sooner we start, the sooner we'll be done. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing that you need concern yourself with. Please take what you wish. All right, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that bird egg. Bird up. Bow, bow, bow. What? Where are the lamps? Oh. Oh, I'm just taking everything, huh? Okay, where's the last one? Oh, over there. Oh, he disappeared. Well, let's say bye to that guy before we leave, shall we? Shoes. <laughs> Everything's yours. Where'd he go? He was right here. I presume that once you had acquired what you came for, you would forget about me and simply be on your way. Uh, it's that guy's voice. Hello? Where are you? My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion, created by the Adepti art known as Mortal Lingering. Now that you have taken the Seven Star Lamps and Sensor used in the Mortal Lingering ritual, my form is no longer visible to you. So you're... 
You're a g -g -g ghost? I was once a junior in the Order of the Yakshas, bestowed with the name Pervases by Rex Lapis himself. <laughs> Don't worry, I am calm. I don't know what you're talking failed, about. And I was slain in battle. Today is the anniversary of my death. My last wish was to see a modern Liyue, and so I took the liberty of performing this ritual here. That aside, you were sent here by the Conqueror of Demons, were you not? So, you two know each other then? I sense his aura upon you. That and the heavy burden of his karma. <sighs> no, Pervasis is dead. He's just millennia. a ghost. He still must endure such tremendous suffering. I am truly ashamed. Don't say that, Pervasis. You sacrificed your life. Yeah, right. Here, didn't you? What do you mean? What in context? He kind of bet. Bro, it's just a statue. It's a life statue of a bird. A thing, yes. But when I think of the burden that the conqueror of demons. I, has I know what you mean. I get you. Death seems to me to have been the easy way out. A selfish indulgence, even. <laughs> I apologize. Birthdays a monster intercourse license, bra. It is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two, and please pass on my regards to the conqueror of demons. We will. You take care too, Pervasis. <sighs> If only I could taste some authentic grilled ticker fish once more. By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. Huh? Looks like he's gone then. Paimon really hopes that at least someone will remember Pervasis the Yaksha. We should get going. But let's come back here and make an offering sometime. Hmm. <laughs> Oh! Let's see, can I go here? Ah, shoot, I gotta go here. It is sad, you can't with Kenshin. Yeah, there's plenty of stories that are sad, but I like it either way. Life is all about sad, mad, glad, and... Glad, mad, happy, and bad, I don't know. I'm trying to make a rhyme. What's up? What's up, boy? Have you gathered the items for the ritual? No. Hmm. This sensor and these lamps. Their designs are flawless. Almost as if they were made specifically for use in the Adepti Arts. Where did you come by them? We got them from a Yaksha named Pervases. Oh, and, um, she says hi! Pervases. <sighs> yes. This does have the hallmarks of something Pervases might do. As I thought, it seems that he could not leave Liyue behind, either. I hope that its present state will allow him to rest in peace. <sighs> well then. Let us begin preparing for the ritual. Place the sensor in the middle and surround it with the seven star lamps. Adorn the area with the items of abject cold. Once this is done, we shall proceed. Yes, this will do. Now, the next step is the key to performing Dream Trawler. There are four steps to performing this ritual. Offering incense, meditation, incantation, and loosing an arrow. What? Seems like a real rigmarole. Adepti arts are the product of millennia of study by Adepti. Do not dismiss their mystical workings as rigmarole. Failure to take them seriously could cause the technique to devour one's own body, or cause the spirit to be sundered from one's flesh permanently. An edgy boy nerd. sorry. When offering the incense, we place the incense into the censer with reverence for Rex Lapis in our hearts. Meditation is to empty ourselves of trivial things. I would fail at step two. And to focus on the target of the art we are performing. Then we shall recite the incantation in a loud voice. Devayaksha, bring forth sin. Finally, we will loose an arrow towards each of the Yaksha statues to enlist their authority for our contract. 
If all goes well, Star Snatcher's soul will be brought forth shortly. Understood. If you have no other questions, let us begin. Bruh. Then we meditate. Ugh. Paima really doesn't want to think about that fraud. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Devayaksha, bring forth sin! Uh, bring forth sin! There's a mysterious silly over there. Alright. Looks like the Yaksha statues are glowing at the waist. So we just fire one arrow each at the glowing parts, right? Close enough. Leave the rest to me. You two get ready to greet him. Where is one? Huh? You two look familiar. What's with one's body? One feels light. Weightless. We summoned your spirit forth with an adepti art. An adepti art? <laughs> you dare don the guise of an adeptus in one's presence. Ooh, he says that in front of Xiao. But as for the matter of one's present location, one could have sworn that one was dozing off to sleep at Wang Shu Inn not a moment ago. Wait, that must be it. Of course it must. <laughs> as expected of an adeptus such as oneself, one must indeed be in a dream. <sighs> There's no helping this guy, is there? Oh, you're not dreaming. Dreamers, after all, feel no pain. Huh? What is the meaning of this? Do you truly think- I feel like Xiao is tr trying to keep his tongue. Dreams? Trying to hold his tongue. Alright, time to take him down a peg. With, uh, such impertinence. One's followers when one needs them. A solo need of discipline? Bro, let's go. I am ripping this guy an ethereal new one. Was that it? Was that it? Oh, that was quick. Please stop. I surrender. I surrender. <sighs> so, do you believe us now? So are we still going to do this one self song and dance? Yes, yes, I do. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. Oh, how did I ever have the misfortune to meet you two? Please, great adept, I spare my life. I won't do this ever again, I swear it. We did call your spirit here, but we're not a death die. He, however, is. You deceive the masses with quackery. Masquerade as an adeptus. Exercise demons without exterminating them. And display a callous lack of regard for life. One day, you will reap that which you have sown. For those who invite the infernal into their lives, there is no redemption. Uh, I... Sure. Seems like Shell's got him scared stiff. Oh, great Adeptus. Uh, might I ask your name? He is the conqueror of demons. He is the vigilant Yaksha. It really is you. It's truly you. Never in my life did I imagine that I might meet the conqueror of demons, the vigilant Yaksha himself. You know about Shell? Of course. My grandfather was a folklorist. I learned the tales of the Conqueror of Demons at his knee. To this day, I am an avid collector of books concerning the Yakshas. But ever since I discovered a sigil of permission while rummaging through my grandfather's personal effects, at first, I was just imitating the Adepti for fun. Slowly, I began to stray further and further from the righteous path. Huh. So to sum you up, you're Xiao's biggest fan? Yes. <laughs> Thank you both for allowing me to witness the conqueror of demons in the flesh. It's like a dream come true. Uh, that wasn't quite our intention. This is so weird. This is pretty Please funny. Allow me to swear this oath before the great conqueror of demons. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain the name of the Adepti. I will remember your oath. Now go. 
thank you. A thousand thanks for your forgiveness and for all that you have done for Lear. He seemed very earnest when he was making that oath there. Guess he won't be tricking anyone anymore. <laughs> really? Oh, wait, we haven't gotten the sigil of permission back yet. Let's head over to Wang Shuin first thing tomorrow and look for him. Let's see. Uh, well, it is tomorrow morning, so. Hey there, boss. Star Snatcher's staying here, right? Star Snatcher. Hmm. You mean the false adeptus who wore a mask? He signed in here under the name Wang Ping An. That's a really normal name. Uh, so, a uh, really, really ordinary person after all. He's already checked out. He said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Ah, yes. He also requested that I give this letter to a traveler who journeys together with a talking fairy, should they come asking for him. Talking fairy? Who's that? Well, anyway, you must be the traveler. Ver just like, the letter. we're just going to, we're just going to forget that. How That's funny. That he would leave a letter for us. Is this the final attempt to fool us, maybe? Come on, open it. Paimon's curious. Huh? Letter from Star Snatcher. He left us a few nice trinkets. By the time you read this letter, I will have embarked upon my journey of self-improvement. I regret that I cannot apologize to the two of you in person, but I hope that you will forgive me. Since the Conqueror of Demons appeared to me in a dream, I have not slept. My nights have been spent thinking about how I may fulfill my vow. Not only have I deceived you two, but I have also exploited the hopes and dreams of my believers. People in dire straits often become weak, thirsting blindly after something to believe in. With my lies, I brought them false salvation, while their true desires grew farther and farther away. I know in that long gone era, the desires of mankind were not as complicated as they have now become. The conqueror of demons shouldered the desires of Li Wei's people as he contended with demons. Wearing his mask, he concealed the weakness brought by human desire. As a false adeptus, I am one who always wears a mask. A true adeptus only needs to wear it when facing demons. If I wear a mask to hide the evil that has corrupted my heart, then the conqueror of demons wears a mask to hide the part of him that is human. And yet, he wears the face of a demon king only that he might subdue all demons. Once I had realized all this, I became deeply aware of my own ugliness and I understood what it truly means to be an adeptus. Set off on this journey over hill and river, strengthening my body and spirit, not because I harbor any hope of fully atoning for my sins. I do it only to earn the right to be counted among the believers of the Adepti. I have already asked someone to return the money I cheated others off. A few goods remain in my possession, but they are of no use to me on my journey of self-improvement. Please take them. Please take the sigil of permission that my grandfather left me as well. I am no longer worthy of it. I wish that you will be granted that which you desire. May we meet again. Wang Ping An, a sinner. But he's not dead. <laughs> met a bad guy like him in a long time. I'm actually quite touched. This is all thanks to Xiao. Yeah. Anyway, let's go take the sigil of permission to Xiao, shall we? What? Did something happen? The quest location currently involving the quest A Dish Beyond Mortal Ken. Please complete it first. Uh, darn. What? Where? World quests. Where was it? Didn't I have it? Shoot, I wish there was a search function. Whatever. Let me see. Uh, a few details. There it is. Check. There. Oh! Sit by the table? Hmm? 
I see that we have a special guest today. Usually it's just the chef and I, eating in silence. Perhaps your presence will liven up today's meal. But it appears that the chef is terribly worried about something today. Why the long face? Why else sit down? Oh, he dies? Oh, okay. These meatballs are not half bad. This meat just melts in one's mouth. The broth packs a lot of flavor as well. Huh? There's crab roe in the meat. No wonder it tastes so unusually fresh. Come, traveler. Try one more. I'll teach you what to do. First, use chopsticks to open the meatball up. Then soak it in the broth and eat it with some rice. Whoa, you talk like an expert. <laughs> Even a fool would learn a thing or two about food if they got to eat such delicacies every day. Let me teach you the correct way to taste the stewed fish. You'd better enjoy the food because that might have been the last meal I got to cook here. Last meal you got to cook here? Who told you so? Oh no! Is it because of me? Is the innkeeper fed up with you because you've been feeding me all this time? Seems a bit unfair, given that I supplied the inn with some of my best catches free of charge. That should have covered at least a part of my bill. Besides, the innkeeper isn't known for being a miser. Give me a break. It was just a few fish, and most of them ended up in your stomach anyway. So, actually... <sighs> Fine, I'll tell you. Presentable, tasty, stylish, artisan, and with personality. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's any dish in this world that meet the innkeeper's requirements. You think it's funny? We'll see how you'll laugh when you come over next time and I won't be here to feed you for free. Alright, alright, it's not so funny after all. So, that's why you've been looking so worried today. It's hard to be in high spirits when your boss expects you to perform miracles all of a sudden. Hmm, there might be a way out. Even though I can't cook myself, I happen to know a recipe for a unique dish. I came across that dish during a trip abroad, when I happened to be a guest at a local Big Shot's house. They called it Chicken Tofu Pudding. By the looks of it, you wouldn't say that it's a meat dish. It really is as del delicate as tofu pudding, but with a strong flavor of meat and herbs. A rare meat dish that imitates vegetarian cuisine. That meal left me so curious about the dish that I asked my host for the recipe. However, I'm a bad cook. So, the recipe has been collecting dust in my chest ever since. I'm surprised that you managed to get a hold of such a recipe. Uh, long story short, I helped someone and they invited me to a feast to show their gratitude. The chef who came up with this recipe didn't mind sharing it with me. He was confident that one can count the people skilled enough to make such a dish on one hand anyway. No doubt about it. According to that chef, those who attempt to make the dish have to be not only skilled in the art of cooking, but also in the art of the sword. Huh. <laughs> What kind of a dish requires swinging a sword? I can chop meat just fine with my knife. I'm afraid you'd sooner cut the chopping board in half than mince the meat fine enough with that knife of yours. I was told that minced meat is the highlight of this dish. As such, precise sword technique is the key to success. First, one needs to portion the meat and chop it up with the sword's edge. Then use the sword's backside to mince it. Next, hold on, wait a minute. That recipe of yours is good for nothing in our hands. I'm not much of a swordsman, and you're not a cook. Where can we find a sword-wielding warrior who also happens to have some culinary skills? This person might be closer than you think. But me? Precisely. Isn't it a fortunate twist of fate that you know how to use both the sword and the stove? How about we let the traveler attempt to make that unique dish? But the innkeeper wanted Yan Shao to... Well, the innkeeper only told Yan Xiao to come up with a new dish. He didn't specify who had to cook it, so it's still an open question. Let Ra Raiden cook it? The Raiden Shogun? <laughs> Raiden Shogun, for real. Am I right, Chef? Ah, right. Your logic is shound. But, that it but what ingredients do we need to make a chicken tofu pudding? Nothing special, really. Just some fowl, ham, bird egg, and snapdragon. Still have some fowl and ham stored in the kitchen, but... We're fresh out of bird eggs and snapdragon. Had I known sooner, I wouldn't have made those Matsutake scrambled eggs. Traveler, can I count on you to bring me one of each? Once you find them, we'll work the chicken tofu pudding out together. Uh, naturally, I'll make sure to repay you for your help. Uh, thank you in advance. Have you found a bird egg and a snapdragon? Oh, yes. All right, we've got all the ingredients needed. Let's get to work. Where do I start? Well, maybe our freeloading friend can provide us with some instructions. Right, first portion the meat on the table with your sword and slice it into smaller pieces. Then mince, and I didn't get to read the rest of that. Cut the meat. Oh. 
Okay, that's good. Now pour some more water into this pot. Oh. Light a fire first? Oh. Pour water into the cooking pot? Do I need hydro? Oh, something tells me I need hydro. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, party setup. I'm going to need a hack into my... Lisa, I'm gonna replace you with Barbie real quick. There we go. Now light the stove up and slow cook the meat paste. Alright, well, let me just switch my character back. Let me try. No, oh, I'm gonna see. <coughs> Let's wait. Mm. Stop auto playing. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even get to read it. That's so stupid. Looks quite presentable, too, and requires truly exquisite workmanship. The premise is also catchy a meat dish that imitates vegetarian cuisine. I'm sure many would like to try it for themselves. <laughs> Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm sure it'll be the innkeeper's taste. What a surprise! Turns out you're more capable than I gave you credit for. Who knew a sponger like you would remember this recipe so well? <laughs> Might as well tell you. Back in the day, I thought that this recipe contained some sort of secret sword art, so I studied it day and night without ceasing. Now that I think about it, I must have been an absolute madman. It was just a recipe. Why would there be anything about swordsmanship in it? And all that practice for... To look for someone and ask for justice, that's all. Ha! <laughs> that was magnificent indeed, and here you are, speaking so softly about it. <laughs> well, once I'd exacted that justice, I came here. Thankfully, the innkeeper was willing to take me in and let me loaf about the place. I am now free of desire. I no longer wish to wield my sword, nor do I have any other skills. <laughs> suppose staying here for the rest of my life isn't so bad. Well now, I suppose I should give you a copy of this recipe. You can make it for yourself if you have the time. It's a little troublesome, but it tastes pretty good. Thank you. Hmm. Well, let's put this dish aside. We can show it to the innkeeper once he gets here. And after that... Hey, hey, Mr. Loafer. Don't you go anywhere just yet. Come over here. Oh, what do you want? I don't have another recipe for you, so just so you know. Come on. Didn't you say that you didn't have any skills apart from well-wielding your sword? Well then, draw that sword. I'm teaching you to chop meat. Chop meat? I... Well, I'm afraid... You'll get it pretty quickly. Chop meat today, make a dish tomorrow. Learn yourself a few of those, and there, you've got a skill. What are you... <laughs> a few dishes under your belt, yes. That'll spare me the need to watch you scrap for food around here, that's for sure. Well, come on then, don't drag your feet. You dilly-dally some more, and you can forget having any meatballs to eat tomorrow. Wait, what? Come on, you can't threaten me like that. Alright, alright, I'll chop them. I'll chop them. Yay! I got a recipe for chicken tofu pudding. Alright. That means I should be able to continue. Yeah! Talk to Xiao. Oh, you're down there. You're down there? Oh no, you're over here somewhere. Where are you? What the freak? Oh, you're inside? Are you inside the Wangshu Inn? Hold on. I gotta find you. Where are you? Oh, the objective marker is right there. Oh! <laughs> oh, there you are! We got the sigil of permission back. Do you wanna take it? You have my thanks. May I take your order, sir? One grilled ticker fish. Certainly. We'll prepare it for you immediately. Huh. No almond tofu this time? Well, that's not like Xiao. Ticker fish was Pervasi's favorite dish. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Huh. <sighs> By wave and storm, I hunt for fish. By wind and snow, I slay evil. <laughs> was there anything else? I am accustomed to eating alone. We'll leave you be then. And so, Detective Paimon and the trusty traveler solved the case and quietly slipped away. Tastes like butt? Ew. <laughs> how would you know, Rit? Wow, that was how the story quest ends? That's so funny. 
Xiao seems a bit lost in his memories. Best we don't disturb him. Okay. Yay, we did a thing. All right. Next one. What's the next one? Hu Tao! Oh. Oh, it's Hu Tao, guys. Yeah, some stories are best left untold. Shh. Yeah. Oh, wait. I, uh, hold up. Hold up. That's not, I don't mean to be here. Let me go to this domain real quick. Oh my, I remember this place. How do you deal with such like, stupid enemies here? Go to Wu Wang Hill. I've been here before. I remember that one world quest where the there was a ghost girl that asked me to get a book for them or something. Um, not that I'm scared or anything, just uh, concerned for your safety. It's just that this is how lots of scary stories go. You're in an empty place, in the middle of nowhere, there's barely any light, and then just when you least expect it, a stranger comes out of- <gasps> ah! Quick, do something! Didn't you say you weren't scared? Paimon's intuition says that anyone we run into here is going to be far from normal. If he gets us, he's gonna eat Paimon for sure. Who are you? I'm a traveler. T traveler Are you from one of the other nations? Um... Uh, mm. No, I've never seen your kind of attire before. Could it be that you traveled from the other side? I'm just here for a funeral. I don't mean to offend. No matter who you are, there's no need for any ill will between us. Ooh. Seems he's just your average scaredy cat. He looks more afraid than Paimon. You're, uh, but you're kind of terrifying. Huh? I'm not. Paimon's super friendly looking. Don't be afraid. We come in peace. Gods protect me! No, no, no! Stop freaking out and stand still! Relax! Relax? Yes, whatever you say. Please stay your hand. Don't come any closer. I mean you no harm. Don't! Don't touch me! Hey! Oh, he really oh, is, Red. Nothing's gonna happen! Time to follow this dude. Yet the butterfly flutters away. That's that's a funny way to start this. Was it something Paimon said? Yes. Him. He might do something stupid. Oh, I bet you'd be 100% right. Hey, Hu Tao. <sighs> director, director, there's a ghost after me. Oh? Hey. <laughs> Don't get too excited. These are clients, not ghosts. Exactly. We said we're not ghosts. Why would you calm down and let us explain? Although, clients doesn't seem quite right either. Yeah, forgive me. This is one of our new undertakers, Mung. It's his first time working a funeral, so of course he's afraid of his own shadow. Funeral. Funeral. Oh, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor! Zhang Li is a consultant there. They deal with this stuff a lot, right? Oh, you know Zhang Li? Well, that saves me a lot of explaining. I'm Hu Tao, the current director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, responsible for, uh, well, trifling matters having to do with immortality. A satisfying trade to be in, though, and Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is well known around town. Whatever the request, I'd be glad to hear it. I don't think we fall into the client category. Yeah, if we are looking for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's help, this is hardly the place we would come to. Ah, but you Yeah, that's how who that's how uh Hu Tao sounds like. There's an ocean in here? Everyone who enters this mortal realm that. will be a client of mine. <laughs> Sooner or later. Well that's dark. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor welcomes advanced reservations. When you choose us, you'll never have to worry about what might be around the corner. But be sure to book the right date. Pro tip. It is a living nightmare trying to get flowers at short notice. Speaking of dates, if you're struggling to decide, please do come and talk it over. I'd hate to see you still alive and kicking when your big day comes. Whoa. Slow down. That's... You? There's a lot to unpack here. Is everyone at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor a weirdo? <laughs> You'll have to excuse her. The director is a rather... Unique individual. Allow me to explain. We'd heard that there'd been some supernatural activity at Wuong Hill. To restore calm here, we performed a funeral ceremony. It went very smoothly. 
According to the director, we shouldn't be expecting any more issues in the near future. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Wuwang Hill, Funeral... What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wuwang Hill. You being here is not normal. Um, maybe your understanding of normal isn't quite normal. I'm here on an adventure. Adventure? <laughs> you must hail from the Adventurers Guild. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. Would, to be precise. Would? What? What? what do you mean? That's just what? how we gauge our clients' importance. We have four levels. Wicker, bamboo, wood, and marble. The higher the grade, the better we'd like to get to know you. But I've just only heard of this. Well, that's because I only just thought of it. Oh, don't look so shocked. Oh, I was like, what the look. fudge? Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains, clearing domains, and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. Charming. How subtle of you. Oh, touched a nerve, did I? I'd have thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. Not anyway, all the time. I have a favor to ask. Recently, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. What's in it for me? Hmm, let me think what I could offer you as a reward. <gasps> or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? Ah, oh, we're looking for someone. We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. This seems like something right up my alley. Mm. I can even inquire with the ones who no longer speak for you. You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Uh, when did we become your assistant? I would like to know that as well. Long Sun Funeral Parlor. The ones who no longer speak. Oh, did she mean talking to the dead? Uh, she's a weird one. <laughs> You again. Look, I told you, we're not interested in the kind of cooperation you describe. Come on, there's no reason to get upset. Look, one of your members is an avid supporter of my proposition. Just hear her out. Oh, since our last negotiation, I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. First things first, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurer's Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free, together with your first order. But that's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service. Cadaver collection service? Do charge a slight premium for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but but don't you worry about that. I promise you, it's still very affordable. I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little more, but our offer as it stands is already quite a good deal, don't you think? Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Yeah, no. I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. Speaking of precautions, I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurers safe in the first place. It's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. Oh, wait, hold on. What would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? Director, please, you did your best. We don't need another clash with the Millilith. Uh... If Paimon understood all that correctly, it seems like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor service. I side with Lan on this one. Uh, yeah, nothing left to do here. Let's go back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Hi, uh, yeah. Rejecting a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's their loss. Some things are inevitable, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> Oh, I'm already close there. Whoop! Is this where we figure out? Oh wait, no. Shang Li started working at the Wangshin Funeral Parlor, so. Woo! Uh, seems like the old 
ways are the most reliable after all. Mun, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Ah, uh, my apologies. I'm only about halfway through. Do you really think they will be effective? Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although, it is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. If only we could burn them by the batch. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about the special offer they advertise. Special offer? <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? This, this development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. Wait, I mean, do you have permission to do that? Organized the Wangshan Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. I mean, people don't want to go to a funeral home. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. So now... I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like, buy one, get one free for the holder of this tile on them. <gasps> what do they buy and what do they get? A solid and durable second home, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> Right away, but they can be sure that when they do a second it, home, good as new. <clears throat> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. Oh, Lord, That's the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor quality guarantee. No wonder you're on the Millith's radar. All right, Mung, keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? It is true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. <sighs> You're right. It's unfair. The way she interprets everything is wild. Market research. Wait here, my faithful assistant. I'll be back with you in a moment. It shouldn't take too long. Bro, she's a whirlwind. Uh, guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. Let's look around while she's away. Hmm. The way we're wording this lacks warmth and sincerity. If we're content to settle for just seeing people off, how can we give them a sense of really having gained something? But that's a tough feeling to convey in this industry. Precisely the problem. If we can't get that feeling across, then how will we get return clients? R return clients? You must be the director's new hires. Not us! We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and who tell. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. True that. Director's Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Should and shouldn't be known. Her? A board used for hanging Wang Sheng funeral parlors wooden tiles. According to Hu Tao, all the tiles should be blank. In which case, the characters on the back of the tiles must be the special offer. So, behind this door is the Wang Sheng funeral parlor. It looks far more ordinary than the director made it out to be. She didn't even move from her spot. That's settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Bumper one Sale. Get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. We want people to feel warm and fuzzy. Uh, but director, isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry? That's old hat. We're opening up new ground. Why does Wangshan Funeral Parlor need to open up? Uh, hmm. Yeah, 
Quest Director. Oh man, Mung. <laughs> He's given up, he really has. Hey Red, long time no see. I hope you're doing well, man. Thanks, welcome to the stream. We? As in us. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. Stop adding little afterthoughts like that. It creeps people out. <laughs> oh, has it been that long, joke. really? Sorry. Then that means I've been so busy that it feels like I've been away for a year or something. Comforting. Uh, lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. Oh, yeah, we do. People truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they left Five days? Oh, maybe. It's been a while. Ghosts and evil spirits. Oh, baseless fantasies. What What's been new with you, Red? With is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. But I've seen ghosts. Oh, more approachable and appeasing. A ghost, than you my imagined? bad. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. You must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Eh, I've been doing all right, you know. Making progress on Honkai uh, Star Rail, playing Genshin Impact, Action Time and In, you know, stuff like that. Helping my friend out at work. Celebrated my cousin's boyfriend's white coat over the weekend on Saturday, so there's that. For those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. Still same old, same old. So, uh, training for the is ignorance of what is it? Matters concerning spirits in the Mixed martial arts, right? I completely better. forgot. I don't know what it is called. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking that. Yes, always nice. How's your girlfriend, if you don't mind me asking? Everything cool? Good relationship? Everything still, you know, roses and rainbows? That's why people think you're. We, oh, I've yet to see the funny side. I never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Pretty chill. Okay, I'm really glad to hear that. Wait. What about Big G? Who's Big G? Don't forget. Big G? Who's that? We've been in Lila for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something mung has been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Where are we going? To visit an important potential client. I'll lead the way. Yeah, so anything new with you, Red, or just, yeah, same old, same old? Uh, sorry, who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao. Director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Mm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often they're an omen of something terminal. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains. Best to keep an eye on them. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. Oh, you're fine, Red. What game are you playing? <sighs> Why do they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Simon thinks it's because they're coming from the direction. You've been on a cut? Like cutting order. weight? Oh, that's new? Just cutting weight for like a future uh, fight? Because I know people kind of have to cut weight to reach a certain weight class, right? No more chicken sandwiches for me. Oh, are you about to go into a fight? Uh, and you are. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? Hardly. Oh, you just got overweight. All right, I hear you. Service to the customer and all that. Just need to cut down a little. Gotcha. Falls into that. Uh, anyway. Do you have any fights you planned for the future? Else, if you don't mind. Uh, another failure. Still, not the end of the world. I'm just curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? I know your face. 
The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> if you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. Bruh, Hu Tao, oh my gosh. Don't give up, do you? Tough crowd. Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Thank you. One might come along. Well, I hope you get a nice fight. I don't know how, like, you start your career like that. I actually don't. I'm pretty ignorant about that, Red, so... Sorry if I'm asking some questions that are pretty common for you. Enough business development. Please help me find someone. Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development. Didn't you say it yourself, Utao? What's it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. What the fudge? I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? Rings a bell. As it turns out, the Big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost to drift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. So we just had a quick chat. Oh, and thanks. Appreciate it, Red. If that was stopping for a quick chat. Why didn't you say so? Paimon thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, uh, people in declining health. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people? Or... Paimon was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paimon wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. Uh, well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. Okay. Oh, we got a we got a world quest over there. Hold on. Where is it? Where is, is it underneath? Oh, you're walking over there. But yeah, how do you get into a, how do you get your first fight? By the way, Red. It never rains, but it pours. What's the matter? After that huge incident at the Rite of Ascension, the streets have been filling up with Millilith. The tension in the air hangs over us like a shroud. Our doors aren't closed, but you know as well as I do how Liwei often does business with other nations and how many people from every nation live in our city. They brought us prosperity and a fair amount of cultural exchange too, but this incident has caused many such people to be very ill at ease. You play at a oh you play with a club and get put in fights. Ah, oh, okay, I see what you mean. So basically, make a make a name for yourself and then a fight will come along your way. Gotcha. Thanks for sharing. I've been making preparations to try and calm people down, but with the situation as it is, I don't know where to begin looking for people good at international relations. Hmm, wait a moment. Traveler, you've been to many different parts of the world already, haven't you? You must be good at speaking to people from other nations. Could I trouble you then, to help me calm some of our guests down? I'll see this done. Thank you, you're a big help. Now, I need to go and settle some other matters. Okay, cool. I just wanted to get that story quest into my quest log, my quest queue. Nope, nope, nope. We need to go back to Wangshun Funeral Parlor, which ironically is close by. We're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. We've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. No, you're fine, Red. Think day, you're good. It was an accident. And that was the end of him. I've never forgotten. 
Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill, but recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Sounds like a tall story. Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? <sighs> That's why he joined Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty-handed. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Is this Wong Chun Funeral Parlor? My name's Luo Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently, like... Something's staring at me. Some of my friends and I went to Wuong Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon. Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right, and a serious one at that. You believe so, too? Then it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end! The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales! Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wang Cheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me. I beg you. I'm too young to die. All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. Please help me. I don't want to die. Don't worry. The director is highly skilled. She'll help you find a way. <laughs> Oh, another world quest? Why well, don't mind if I do? I'll just go ahead and add that to my queue. Oh, wait, it's a, is it that dude? Oh, I think it is that dude just like standing there. Huh? Oh, I. Uh, what the heck? What the heck, bro? You know what? There better be like. Ah, uh, there is a chest here. You know what? I'll I'll do it. I'll I'll, I'll take you out. Hey, welcome back, Bala. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Let's dance. There. Nope. Don't. Make way for the objectives. Just, just go quietly into the night, buddy. Thank you. Ugh. Very annoying. Give me that precious chest. Yet they can, and I got me some goodies. Let's talk to this dude. So bored. I need someone to play with. What do you up to? 
Mom and Dad don't have time to come home and play with me, so I have to play here all by myself. But it's so boring playing with only one person. Also, I can't stray too far from home, otherwise Mom and Dad wouldn't be able to find me when they got back. Then they'd start worrying. Do you want to play with me? You can play hide and seek. It's really easy. Anyone can play it. Sorry. Uh, sure. I love that game. Yay! Alright, let the game begin. Um, but, uh, give me a sec first. I haven't thought where to hide. Okay, I got it. <laughs> You'll never find me. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, uh, on your marks, get ready, let's go! Oh, I didn't mean to- mm. I legit didn't mean to. Uh, where would I find him? Genuinely speaking, where would I find Childish Jiang? Oh, there you are. Ah, you found me! Was it that obvious? It was pretty obvious. Really? How could that be? When I hit here, even my father couldn't find me. Huh, we've only just begun. I haven't used my full power yet. Let's play. This time, I'm gonna hide in the best hiding place ever. You'll never find me. Actually, I need a break. Because, uh, I want to continue the story quest. I'll come back and play later. Wah! Here? So, what mysterious rituals are you gonna perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Eh? Wait, you didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? They were eradicated ages ago. So, why are we here? You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. <sighs> now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. Uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a three-year-old. How old are you, Paimon? Why would you ask that? Paimon just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth. Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. What I can do is true. pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. Makes sense. But why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Do you know the history of the Yaksha? I know just some bits and pieces. They once I actually know the ancient a lot. Gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. The Steric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was completely eradicated. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> That's what you meant by guarding the border? So when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real or it would incite panic. <sighs> anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. Oh, you're finally here! We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. But don't worry. The traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Doing the dirty work again. You failed to mention we'd need to fight. Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Will that really solve my problem? Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo. 
But she's serious about everything she does. <sighs> How can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? <laughs> I don't know about that, Hutao. That's like pretty high marks there. Glamorous assistant, please activate the device. Is it really possible to materialize the curse? With the wind. Oh. I hate that notification. That notification sound that about enemies reinforcements is coming. Oh, come on. Here. How are you feeling? Did the curse leave your body? Uh, yes. I feel more invigorated than ever before. I'm cured. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the Traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Ah, uh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 you've been pranked. Uh, what? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. So riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? The curse wasn't real? Then why was I sick? Were you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick? It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Uh, don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. Enjoy it while it lasts. Wow. I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. This is Big G? He's just a child? Well, he did. Wong's Meng said. Meng said that it happened a long time ago. Or Meng, my bad. That's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. Let's bring him back to Wong Sheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. I'm like speeding through this story quest, which I'm happy for because uh, I got like a ton of story quests to do, not to mention the hangout events. Uh. After all that's happened, Pyra's not even sure what's going on anymore. I didn't expect to stumble upon Big G just like that either. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. A few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they'd come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Oh, it must have been poor Lo Chung that he followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Uh, I was discovered? Well, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Why didn't you come looking for Mung sooner? Yeah. Hotel and Mung were searching for you all over the place. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor. 
and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. So, all of this was just because you got lost? Why didn't you just fly? Like any other gooster spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? I can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. I mean, Big G is still a kid. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Good thing they didn't call you Tall G. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living, and with so many people walking around Liyue Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Modelist's call. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> no, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wulong Hill, and we should be done and dust to dusted. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mumu, and Songza. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wulong Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual, then come and find us. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them. Um, that's not a good idea. I don't want to scare them. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Uh, no guarantees. Are really going with Hutao's plan? I mean, you have to. At least by keeping things low-key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Uh, hi! <laughs> Do you remember us? <sighs> Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor's services anytime soon. Mung told us a story. <sighs> yes, we grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar, but he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. Typical Paimon. I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jue Yun chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal. Just give us a minute. Don't I have some? Jue Yun chilies are a common sight in Liu. I can rustle that dish up in no time if you help me find some. Oh, cool. I did have some. Great. Pace to explore, I guess. I'll get started on the Julia and Chili Chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down. When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Great. See you later. Uh, how did he know about the others? Oh shoot, that's true. How does he know about the others? Yeah, Skyward, got her. No, legit. How does he know about the? Do they know? Do wait, like legit? Do they know? Hold the phone, do they know? Uh, not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. I come to think of it. I remember he did join Wangsheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. Uh, the big G incident, but I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? How did you know? We didn't even say anything! <laughs> I'm a businessman. I've got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. 
I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow, you must be like super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for little Wu and Songza next. Mm-hmm. We already saw little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. No. What's going on? It's like these people know. Hmm? Oh, up there? Why is she up there? Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes. I make artisan Shao lanterns down by Liu. Shao lanterns. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plastrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Oh, you know, I just realized. Mine's the only item that's been outright purchased. Yours are both handmade. But yours is worth a lot more. Worth and more is not what's important here. These things... Things all played a big part in our childhood. They show that we will never forget our promise. They had a promise? That's wild. They had a promise, guys. They had a promise. We got another story quest? What's going on here? Oh, you're here. I can see. Oh. Oh, is that brand new? Oh no, I think that was just a story. That was a world quest I had already accepted a long time ago. Okay. I don't know why that keeps popping up. Oh well. Hi, we're here to pick up the plastrite shards for Sansa. I think she mentioned it. Yes, here you are on the register. No problem. The plastrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. Okay. The plastrite shards. Okay. Oh, up there. Oh. Songzi. Songzi's cargo box. Let's look someplace else. These look like what Songzi was talking about. Let's hit that. Skyward. Wait. Wait. Spider Man. Whoa! Here we go. My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. I experienced it. I was here for the lantern rite. For Shinyun. Whichever roads we choose to take, while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well and that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. You can count on us. Thank you. We'll pass it on. Big G is lucky to have friends like you. 
Is that it? You know, I just realized. But your worth and more, they show that. Well, I shut up Paimon. I did not mean to do that. Gosh dang it. I didn't mean to shut Paimon up. Oh no. Oops, that's right. No, delete that. Go, no, de delete that. Go to this domain. Did you, Paimon? Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes. So I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. <sighs> which is just as well. Because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. Sounds terrifying. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility. And I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? <laughs> of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. <laughs> and where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. In an ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. So listen to everything I say. Let's go. I'm scared. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. Oh, are we going? Oh, we're going into a domain. Enter the border. After sufficient preparation, you follow Hutao into the mysterious border. Remember her warning and don't make a fuss about anything that waits ahead. I forgot to switch out Barbara for Lisa. Death, Fudge. But not like the Heller underworld from the tales of old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. So keep your cool. Follow me. The farewell ceremony site is just up ahead. That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. Oh, just like last time. Am I supposed to look at it like... Oh, that. There we go. Oh! That was cool and disturbing at the same time. Oh. Oh, wow. Hey! Huh? 
By the way, I imagine Adventurers Guild members are good at making order of things. See if you can find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reactions. Will do. Ooh, dealing with the border. I'll race you there. Oh, a radish. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Oh, you mean person. What's with all the hilly turtles and sama turtles? Oh, we got two mighty turtles. Ow! Rude! Oh, there's a common chest. There it is. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? This looks the same, but there aren't enough. Oh, so confusing. Let's have a look around. Or up ahead. Ow. It's gonna be a while, but I'll uh, eventually take out the spider. Thank goodness. Okay, finally, about freaking time. All right. Oh. Skyward, scatter. Dua disappears. Okay. A door of resurrect. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, huh? Isn't this where we just were before? Didn't I need this? Oh, okay, so I did need that. Alright, gotcha. Finally! Paima thought we were gonna be trapped in that weird place forever! That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. So, that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. What? Feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. Long sheet? Are you clients? Apologies. 
This is just a little unexpected. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. Who are you? My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd, it helps to pass the time. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. But if you two are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. That's deep. Just gonna loot this place, apparently. Zooming. Oh, you here? What a coincidence, so am I. I can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. Here I can finally work out a lifetime of emotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I just set my expectations too low. By the way, have you seen Uncle Jean recently? That guy? I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ugh, good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. If you're curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd like to stay here for a while. Hmm. Interesting. God! It's the lantern right again. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Yell it? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in. And nobody feels embarrassed anymore. <laughs> That's right. Little Wu, you start. All right. I... I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks, so I could eat joy you and chili chicken every day! <laughs> that's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super expensive toy box. Not just one. One for everyone. No, loads for everyone. <laughs> well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ning Xiao lanterns. The big kind. And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah. That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao Lantern. Huh. Anyway, those are our wishes. Mom, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? They all disappeared. Right when he was about to make his wish. It brings back so many memories. That was the last Lantern ride the five of us spent together. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? They've come true. We can prove it to you. We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Momo's a successful Oh, I started tearing up. That's kind of sad. Momo makes great show lanterns. Really? Wow. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway, time to release this lantern. Hey, take a hint. Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. Hmm. Can I talk to them? Oh. Wow! There are even the names of all five of us on it! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, didn't you just say that you release lanterns every year? Do you plan to add more names over the years? Like, Little Wu's kids? And Mumu's wife? Actually, I have some good news. Mumu's soon to be a father. He's been talking about nothing else recently. He's excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> I wonder if such a goofball will make a good father. <laughs> no, no, no. You'd be surprised how sharp-witted he is now. Let me tell you. I know Hutao said to take a hit, but I couldn't help but eavesdrop. <laughs> Who needs to learn how to read the room? 
Don't you need to guard the border? Monks already crossed the border. That's the only way to send Big G off. As I explained, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was, once upon a time, more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor. During the Archon War, piles of corpses covered the wilderness. People were plunged into misery and suffering. Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. By that, I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. It took a long, long time. Longer than you'd think to restore balance and reinstate the border. I thought my game was crashing for a moment. Without what? Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today. Neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. I didn't expect you to be such a storyteller. <laughs> the previous directors all love to tell this one too. Although, if you ask me, I think I tell it best. What you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that. A funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. Won't disagree. It's time to go back. We live in peaceful times, but this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. I just said that. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. All right, I guess it's time to leave. I think we did everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. So you should also mind my warning, Monk. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. See you later, Big G. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. All right. I'll remember you all. Uh, goodbye. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Um, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the lantern right together. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. You still have a lot ahead of you. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. Dang, Hu Tao, so aren't you a shining ray of sunshine? Duty to the living is over. You can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh, oh, there's a common chest over there. Thank you? Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuong Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. 
Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. And he walks out. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? You promised that you'll help us in our search. I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. The biggest pity of all is your lack of help. <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. <laughs> I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... <gasps> Stop saying creepy stuff! Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. Seems like you... Well, seems like you really like your job, other than that. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there. Not even once. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them. And left them with no regrets. Hey, we did it. We finished the story quest. Let me just get this. Perhaps one should invent some form of curio discernment mechanism. Okay. And last but not least, we'll we'll do one more. We'll do we'll do one more. Let's see here. Okay. Oh wow, we have gone through quite a bit. I remember where we had a lot. Eula. Oh, I haven't done Yai Mikos yet? Shadow of the Past. I guess we're going to the Knights of Favonius' headquarters. Alright, before we begin, uh, I kind of need to hydrate. That's quite important. So, let me just uh, get in front of here. Whoop. And pause. I will be right back. I just need to get some water.
Hello, don't mind me showing my dumpy on stream. Bro, step two of twink pregnancy, really writ? Even I got that. People are gonna just go through, no, excuse me, literally they're gonna go through like all of my VODs just to find your steps on twink pregnancy. Oh my gosh. It's an, anth <laughs> it's an anthology. Also, what the freak happened? Why is co-op mode... The following quest needs to be completed before entering another player's world. An O to Yonder City? I have, don't remember seeing that before. Keeps it coming back. If you, <laughs> we will create how to make your wife who's... <laughs> that was a really weird ways to do that. Anyway, welcome back to the stream, Rit. Okay, so we're just going to do one more story quest and then that'll be it for the stream. So. Man, story quests, I mean, I love the content, but dang, it takes a long freaking amount of time. Me, hey, Jean. Thank you for coming on such short notice, honorary knight. I know you must be busy. Well, to make a long story short, there's a particular matter at hand that the knights requires your oh, assistance okay. with. Sounds like a typical Master Jean to me. I have been meaning to have a word with you if the occasion presents Ah, I itself. see. But as you know, Mondstadt's safety must always be my first priority. I have recently received multiple reports from the Knights of someone within the Lawrence clan having close dealings with the Fatui. The Fatui? Yeah, the, yeah, that one. So I know what you mean, yeah. But who Again, the you meet them in every nation, by Mon. There was a dark period in Mondstadt's history when the aristocracy ruled over the city. The hard-won freedom that followed with the fall of Decarabian was lost once again as slavery spread throughout the land. The first Dandelion Knight, Vanessa, spearheaded the revolution that overthrew the old aristocratic system and established the Knights of Favonius, leading Mondstadt to become the city that you see today. The aristocrats that had oppressed the people of Mondstadt were none other than the Lawrence clan. Oh, Paimon gets it! So the clan's descendants are now scheming with the bad guys to carry out more dubious deeds. We suspect as much, though we have yet to obtain any solid evidence. The reason I summoned you here today is to ask you to help us further investigate this matter. Sounds like a job for the Knights of Favonius to me. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Knights of Favonius and the aristocracy have been at odds with one another for as long as I can remember. We've already considered every possible way of resolving our differences. But it seems the descendants of the aristocracy remain antagonistic towards the knights. No matter what stance we take when dealing with them, the outcome is always the same. Our efforts only result in adding more fuel to the flames. We could come knocking on their door on the grounds of a search warrant. But if the investigation were to come up empty, I'm afraid tensions and distrust would only increase. All of our past efforts would have been wasted. But as the honorary knight, I technically also belong to the knights. You are in fact the best candidate to represent the knights of Favonius, but you need not emphasize your role as the honorary knight. You are a traveler from a distant land, and you can approach the aristocrats in this way. Once you come to friendly terms with the Lawrence clan, you should be in a good position to learn more of their possible connections with the Fatui. Whoa, leave it to Master Jean to come up with such a thorough plan! <laughs> Perhaps such plans have become second nature after all the diplomatic issues I've dealt with. The name of the Lawrence clan member in question is Schubert. Lately, he can often be found strolling near the northern city walls. It is said that he is difficult to get along with due to his temperamental disposition. But if we approach him calmly, then things should go off without a hitch. Leave it to me. Thanks again for your help. If you run into any snags along the way, I'll do anything in my power to support you. Ooh. I'll take it where the spindrift shall never return to the sea. Alphos Delos Chapter Act One. Okay. Schubert can be quite touchy, so it may not be easy to get along with him at first. But as long as matters remain calm, then you should be able to come to friendly terms with him. Are, are you Schubert? Huh? 
Who are you? Hello. We're here to... Hello? Yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong? Did you just say what's wrong? Huh. And I suppose you think that you can simply strut up here and greet me in such an ignoble and vulgar manner? Given that I don't recognize you, I can only assume that you are a traveler of some variety. I'll have you know that you are speaking with THE Schubert Lawrence, a blood descendant of THE magnanimous nobility. If you wish to address me, you best consider your words more carefully. Such nonchalant manners are inadmissible and will never do. Now, if you're somehow capable of understanding anything I've said, then you will get down on your knees, apologize for your negligent actions, and give me a proper introduction. That is the appropriate etiquette. That's etiquette? Kaiman's never heard of something so complicated before. Huh. In former times, when people knew their place and respected traditions, such conduct was only basic courtesy when greeting a noble... Brit, no. <laughs> he, he's not worth your time, Brit. Don't do it. Don't do it to a piece of garbage like him. Whipping. Uh, look at the world now. Rules have been thrown to the wayside and manners forgotten. Ah, I cannot bear to see such degradation. It's no wonder the aristocracy fell. It's no wonder the uh, uh, it's <coughs> I can't talk, can't read. It's no wonder the aristocracy fell. There we go. What did you say? You dare question the dignity of the nobility? Dang right. I'll have you know that Bite it off. We can, oh my gosh, Rit. No, it's not even worth your time. Noble blood are looking for a chance to restore our rightful honor. Just look around. The people are unruly and undisciplined. I, however, strive to retain Oh, the he's full of himself. Of nobility. I mean, you're in all, the nation of freedom. Of course people are going to act like this. By birth. I haven't even said anything yet. Save your words. I find your manners and bearing repulsive. I have nothing to discuss with the likes of you. Besides, <laughs> no way yeah, I would have done something similar. Basic courtesies. Now I have more pressing matters to attend to. I'll take my leave. Oh, so this is what Master G meant by difficult to get along with. <sighs> Let's sit back and talk things over with her. All right, back to the Knights of Favonius headquarters. All right. What what things does Schubert have to do? I bet it's just stare at a wall for like another ten minutes or so. Who knows? Sometimes the ability just needs to be cut down a peg. Just saying. Some people. Some people. Well, if it isn't the honor Amber. Of I'm just on my way out to gather some intel. I didn't expect to run into you here, huh? Judging by your expression, you must have run into some trouble. Master Jean tasked us with a special assignment, but things seem to have run aground for the moment. It's a long story. No need to get down on yourself. Sometimes things just don't turn out as planned. Even I can't guarantee useful intel every time I'm dispatched. You just have to keep at it and never give up. Thank you. That's Amber for you. <laughs> hey, why don't you let me try to help? What's the problem? Master Jean asked us to build a connection with someone named Schubert Lawrence. But it turns out that he's a peculiar character that doesn't listen to anyone. Especially Paimon. Aha, uh -huh, Schubert! I know him! Let me guess, he said you didn't have any manners. So you heard. <laughs> I've been on the receiving end of his lectures many a time. The Lawrence clan can be very particular about such things. Uh... You mean everyone in the Lawrence clan is just a big headache? As aristocrats, they believe there should be a certain distance between themselves and common folk. Uh, I understand their thinking, but that's just not how things are anymore. However, there is one exception among the Lawrence clan. My good buddy, Eula. Ugh. Buddy? That's right. Not only is she from the Lawrence clan, but she's also captain of the Knights of Favonius Fourth Company. Jean told us that the Lawrence clan sees the knights as enemies. Eula is special. She's not quite like the other members of her clan. She has her own beliefs and it shows. In other words, she doesn't really adhere to the strict rules and conventions of her family. However, she's still quite knowledgeable about dealing with the Lawrences. I'm sure you'll see what I mean if you meet her. Hmm, that's strange. If Eula is a member of the Lawrence clan, then why would Master Jean choose us for the task? Couldn't she just ask you 
Lula? Uh, well, it's a little complicated. Uh -oh. Basically, the Lauren's plan is frowned upon the fact that Eula joined the Knights. Her family members don't particularly care for her. In their eyes, Eula is nothing but a traitor to the family. She sounds like quite the character. She's very easy to get along with. Just explain the situation, and I'm sure she'll help you come up with a way to get along with Schubert. In fact, I think she's out in the wilderness on patrol this morning. You should be able to find her around Storm Bear Mountains. Thanks, Amber. All right, you heard her. Let's go find Eula. Good luck, you two. I've got my own matters to investigate. Who would have guessed the Knights have a member of the Lawrence clan? Well, if you want to learn about the conduct of the Lawrence clan, who better to ask than one of their own family members? Let's fast travel. Stormberry Mountain. Oh, over here. These are where the Stormberry Mountains are. In this mm. era of fair winds and gentle rain, one skyward scatter. Oh, let me just get some windmill asters. I'll eventually ascend Aether. Okay, one of these days I'll ascend Aether to a higher plane of existence. In a good way, not 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 a bad way. Just just clarify. I like how in this game, versus Breath of the Wild, you don't, like, slip when you climb up the wall. I like that. Oh, why hello, common chest. Is it? Oh, it is raining. I'm wet. The Fatui! What are they doing here? Is that why Yula was sent off a troll here? Uh, let's fight first and talk later! Should we get killed? Uh, no and again, I forgot to switch out Barbara for Lisa. Nice. Don't worry, it is not what I got, buddy. You can keep doing that, buddy. I'll just keep bonking there. Re enemy reinforcements? Heck nah! This is getting knocked. Oh. Oh, she hot. I wish I managed to pull Eula. There was a chance for me to pull Eula, but I wish I pulled her. I will. I wasn't able to pull her. I wish I pulled her. Hey there. Hottie. I know, right, Rit? She is hot. I've seen the character trailer for her, too. Before reaching for your sword, do you? Do you have any idea how long I've been tracking these targets? And now you get to stake a claim. You think you're stronger because you got to them first? Mark my words. Oof. Vengeance will be mine. She is hot. Uh, what? I'm sorry, vengeance? That's right. I heard the commotion and came as swiftly as I could. Only to find you two already fighting the Fatui. Not only that, you are making quick work of them, too. If I didn't make my move, you would have been able to take all the credit. Still, I'm glad you're unscathed. Confronting that number of Fatui at once can be dangerous. Actually, I'm quite used to fighting the Fatui. Uh, Dude, I know, I know, right, Rit? I was like, dang, she hot. Thing, I wish I could pull her, but I don't think I can. Concern? Why would I be concerned for the safety of my arch enemies? Arch enemies? Wait a minute! You were saying how glad you were that we were unscathed a second ago! By which I meant, if you were injured, I'd have to escort two strangers guilty of stealing my targets all the way back to Mondstadt. Which would mean you'd cause me even more trouble. My vengeance would be swifter still. Huh? So that's how you see all this? So you must be Eula. Yes, that's me. Hyman thinks she's pretty strange. 
Although at least we can communicate with her. You dare to call someone nah. you just met strange? Nah. Cyber Daddy ain't worth your time, Red. That's rude even by normal standards. Speaking of which, how do you know my name? This is the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. And speaking of rude, we're trying to investigate an aristocrat named Schubert Morris. He's so obsessed with etiquette that he's not even willing to speak with us. <laughs> I understand now. My uncle, all right. But why do you mean to investigate him? He may be secretly involved with the Fatui. Huh, I see. <laughs> you have some nerve to faming a family member right in front of me. I will have vengeance for this, too. No, no, no. This is an assignment from Master Jean. It's just an investigation. That's all. Aren't you worried about your uncle? To the everyday citizens of Mondstadt, everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. It's natural for rumors and unwarranted gossip to lead to such suspicion. Hard to avoid such a reputation when you're known as the ruthless rulers of old Mondstadt. Oh, so that's what you think of me? Hm. Yet another transgression to avenge. You look chill the freak out! Didn't you say it first? Why not? Because uh, you deserve better. <laughs> Curious. We've only just met, and you've already given me three causes for vengeance. It's been a while since I've encountered anyone as interesting as you. Your definition of curious is... curious. Why do you seem so happy about it? I assume you need me to because teach you the Because he is not worth your time, Rit. You can do way better. Only then will you finally be able to communicate with my uncle. That's right! Amber told us to come and talk to you! Well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. We'll require other people. But aren't you plotting vengeance against us? us? You're not planning to take revenge at the opportune moment, are you? We can put that aside for Shoot, now. What's wrong with him? He's it's a Fatui! The acting almost killed Aether. Assignment. And Amber's the one who recommended me. I should comply. So? Exactly. He's not good. It's not good for you. You don't care about Aether? I do. I mean, you're one of them. Ooh! Sick burn! Ooh! Where's Mondstadt? Oh, it's over here, my bad. Ooh, sick burn! Ooh! Sick burn! Oh, yeah! Hey, Yula. Ah, you finally arrived. There's no time to spare, so we'll begin with our first lesson. Wait, hold on! There's something we need to clear up first. Otherwise, it'll keep bugging us. About all that vengeance stuff, you won't really take revenge, will you? So that's still on your mind, huh? Maybe you're the ones who can't let things go. Oh, shoot. Don't worry. There's a time and place for exacting vengeance. That's not really reassuring, Besides, I'm you, I'm not in the mood for any right now. Best save it for later. Uh, you need to be in the right mood for vengeance. I already have a long list of vengeance to exact. Even if I wanted to begin now, I'd have to start in the right order. Oh. Who knows how long it will be before I get to you? <laughs> well, if you have so much to take care of, wouldn't it just be easier to give us a clean slate? Absolutely not. Stealing my targets, calling me a ruthless ruler, and suspecting my uncle. I didn't call you a ruthless oh, ruler. Oh, pie my name. Eyes. She's definitely counting. She wasn't kidding. But you needn't worry. At least, not whilst we're investigating this matter. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase, a man of moral integrity fears no slanderous attack. If Uncle Schubert didn't commit any wrongdoing, then any such investigation will prove fruitless. But if he did commit a wrongful act, then he should bear the full punishment. I'm sure you understand. I think I'm starting to see what you mean. Good. Now, there are two key points that aristocrats attach great importance to. Your manner of speech and your bearing. Let's begin with your manner of speech. Aristocrats have a very unique way of carrying conversation, even with mundane daily topics. Oh, Paimon's already learned some unique conversation. Negative or positive? Mark my words, vengeance will be mine! <sighs> nice one, Paimon. And besides, it sounds strange. Hey! Paimon learned it from you! And didn't you say not to call others strange? It seems you don't respect the rules of your own clan. No. I've no need to trouble myself with such frivolous formalities. Here, allow me to demonstrate. 
For example, when greeting a friend, you could say, As the morning dew greets the coming dawn, so do I greet you, my dear friend. Ugh. That's too much. As the morning dew does what now? However, such a phrase may only be used during the morning hours. Also, the party I know, right, Red? I'm like, what the fudge? The same status as you. Morning dew is not uncommon, so it expresses that friendship should not be measured by value. Yet also suggests that friendship between aristocrats is pure like water. Seems like a lot of work just to greet a good friend. Oh, no, no, no. You must At a Ren Fair? Good That's funny. Calling someone a good friend could easily offend them. Uh, but didn't you just say my dear friend in your example? Hyman's confused. Oh. Yes, I did. There are things in the Lawrence family for certain time in certain places, by my phrase that can only be used towards certain friends with whom one is acquainted. But not particularly close. It sounds much more. Eula touched a lot of grass. She was just friend. sheltered for so a lot, I guess. I don't know. Remember, aristocrats are concerned with face and being polite. However, if you were to use dear friend to address an intimate friend, the recipient would think that you were deliberately trying to estrange them. This is getting complicated. You mean you always have to talk like this? This is only the first step in making a greeting. After a few another, years, yeah. You then exchange courtesies. Same. Wait, wait. This is all too abstract. Um, perhaps it would be better if you gave some real life demonstrations. Ah. Very well. Come with me. We'll choose some bystanders to converse with. Alright. You'll take the lead. Oh, hold on. We gotta commit. Oh. Hey, Grace. Thanks be to the Animal Archon. What are you up to? I'm praying to Lord Barbados. It was by his protection that Mondstadt was able to weather this storm. We also have him to thank for the safety of the Knights of Avonius and the adventurers of the guild. Thank you, Lord Barbados. Thank you, Lord Barbados. How hardworking of him. I dare not fathom the things Lord Barbados has done for us, but just knowing that such a diligent deity watch over Mondstadt sets my heart at ease. Ah, yes, if you have some time, could you do me a favor? I'd like you to help me collect one batch of dandelion seeds and scatter them to the winds at the top of the MMO Archon statue. I think I've heard of this one. Oh, but didn't you help Glory scatter dandelion seeds in the same manner before? Did you forget? Dandelion seeds that go with the wind carry the feelings in our hearts with them, whether that feeling is remembrance or thanksgiving. Lord Barbados is the animal Archon, so it is most fitting to use these dandelion seeds to express our thanks to him. Allow me, then. Thank you. Okay, let me just... Nah. Norman! Oh, you're Eula of the Lawrence clan, right? This can't be good. <clears throat> you there, lowly laborer. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious what do you Lawrence fight? clan. I have words for you. Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility... Uh... What comes next? Uh, oh, right. By solemnly... No, she's not. She's literally showing sincerity. Aether and Paimon how to talk to a nobleman. Huh? I can't make heads or tails of anything you're saying. <sighs> Hold on. What did they always teach me? See, Yula doesn't even remember. Whenever a dispute arises... Protection of your family's prestige and dignity always takes precedence. Norman is innocent. <clears throat> As a lowly commoner, I feel bad for Norman. Eula didn't even explain. She just went at him like this. You so graciously toil. How dare you speak in such a manner? Ugh, is everyone from the Lawrence clan so strange? The days of the Lawrence clan's tyranny have long passed. I don't care what you're trying to do. Just beat it. I think you misunderstood her. She's just giving us a demonstration. That's all. Like I said, I don't care what you're doing. I have nothing to say to any member of the Lawrence clan. And here's a word of advice. I wouldn't be caught dead walking too closely with any one of their like in Mondstadt. If that's all, I'll be going. I'm afraid I won't be able to control myself if we talk any longer. Hey, hey! Don't leave! Uh, halt! Oh, mark my words. Vengeance will be mine! You love. <laughs> wow. The Lawrence name really does carry a terrible reputation. <sighs> Never mind him. I could have predicted as much. Let's find someone else. Okay. Hey, Lo. <clears throat> you there, lowly toiler. You stand in the presence of a member of the illustrious Lawrence clan. I have words for you. 
Please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the nobility and solemnly kneel to the ground with utmost sincerity. <sighs> huh? Why don't you respond? According to the custom, I must wait until you kneel completely before I can say the next words. Ah, right. I mustn't look at you too long, or I'll be drawing more attention to our difference in status. Oh dear, I've already stared at you for quite a while. <sighs> Fine. You may spare yourself the formality of kneeling, as it may be a little inconvenient. I shall continue. <laughs> I don't blame you, Rit. Wait. I think there's a line for people with rude attitudes in this situation. Hey! Stop bothering me or else I might say something you wouldn't like to hear. Then again, I've got no words for anyone from the Lawrence clan. Again? What's with this attitude? That escalated fast. Maybe we should just stop for now. Yes, I don't think his attitude will change. If I keep grandstanding like this, the outcome won't be good. Let's try to find someone else to talk to. <laughs> I'll remember your unwillingness to comply. Mark my words, vengeance will be mine. So is this Eula's thing? Just vengeance will be hers? Listen, I have no idea what she's trying to do, but trust me, you two should just keep away from her. She's trying to teach me how to talk to a noble. That's all. Yeah. Guys, help a brother out. Come on. Randall, you help a you brother out, right? Worker. I... Yeah, I've already heard it all before. Look, just spare me the time. Our aunt is always the same. We've got nothing to say to the likes of you. Uh oh. Me. I mean, seriously, can't you just take a hint? Please calm down. We don't want to cause any trouble. Uh, I know she's a knight of Favonius, and that the knights wouldn't misplace their trust, but the name Lawrence... <laughs> <is too laughs> yeah. You know what? I would too, because I feel bad. Even I feel bad for you, Eula. The descendants of the Lawrence clan are still scheming to reclaim Mondstadt and reinstate their aristocratic rule. And if that wasn't enough... Here you are purposefully using your awkward way of speaking just to put on an act? Don't you care for the feelings of us ordinary folk? You have a point, but mark my words, this transgression will not go unnoticed. Gosh dang it, you are. Huh? You want to fight? Listen here, I may be no match for you, but I'll be sure to lodge a complaint with the Knights of Favonius. Maybe we should just call it a day now. Maybe everyone should just take a step back. I'm sorry, but I want her to understand that I'm serious. Oh, she knows. She's just trying to... <sighs> we need to explain to people Listen, before Eula talks to them that we're just to get needing a demonstration and Eula is trying stop. to teach us how to talk like a noble. Forget it. There's no point in quarreling any further. Let's go. <laughs> it's all right. Are Karen to the do plan. Randall or to Eula? Let's find someone else to talk to. We've seen enough now. Oh. Let's just stop. Actually, Paimon thinks we should apologize for asking you to demonstrate for us. We had no idea the feelings between the Lawrence clan and the people of Mondstadt. Oh, so Randall? Yeah, true that. <laughs> what can we do? The Lawrence name is already a dirty word among every household in Mondstadt. Even three year olds know the story. I see this kind of attitude all the time. And somehow you still manage to brush it off with a laugh? I'm starting to sympathize with you. Don't worry. What with me being a knight of Favonius, they're I know, right? willing to speak a few words with me. Perhaps my aristocratic manner of speech provoked them today. It definitely Believe did. Me, you called them lowly people. Issue. So this is the way things are normally for you? There's no need for them to direct their anger at you personally. That's the way things are. Perhaps it's just fate for those who have made mistakes. It is, unfortunately. Accepting punishment is only fair, right? It's so hard to build up a good reputation, I'm afraid there's but no it's easy so easy to, to stay in As memories are carried in the city breeze, the faults of such grievances are passed from one generation to the next. It is now my turn to bear this burden. At least I have a means of living a relatively normal life compared to the elders of my family. I have nothing to be discontented about. Oh, I didn't even read that dialogue option, whatever. Oh, that reminds me. That last person will not escape my vengeance either. Kind of figured. <sighs> Let's leave it at that. Just think of it as something I like to do. But unfortunately, you probably didn't learn much from those conversations. It seems we have no other choice but to find more people to talk to. Uh, no need. Besides, the traveler's pretty sharp, and nothing gets in our way on an adventure. Paimon thinks we got the gist of it now, right? Right? Uh, yeah, I, I think I've got it. I'm still not too sure I can do this. We'll just have 
to roll with it for now. Let's just keep Eula from getting anyone else riled up. Well then, I'm glad you learned something. You're already halfway toward mastering aristocratic conduct. What, like, the one half was literally not knowing what to do with the other half? More aesthetic than anything Trial else. and error? It stems from their taste for refinement, but we must also practice your bearing. I have a very effective way of training for this. Come with me to Dragonspine. To Dragon? To Dragonspine? Why the freak are we going to Dragonspine? Man, is it my posture? I mean, I know I have scoliosis, but like, what? Shoot, girl, what are you doing? Hey, Eula. It's so cold. Does aristocrat training really need to be done here? If you wish to truly achieve the dignified conduct of an aristocrat, you must learn to remain composed and elegant even amidst harsh conditions. For Jesus. example, you can see that part of the path up ahead is quite difficult to traverse, but a well-trained aristocrat would not only effortlessly proceed forward, but do so without a stain on their garment and their elegance fully intact. Hyman thinks we've left the realm of aristocrats and entered the realm of adventuring. Compared to what we've already seen, this should be a piece of cake. Yeah, I'm used to this kind of challenge. Should be way easier than making conversation, at least. Uh-huh. Bro, this you're telling me. Totally apply some of your adventuring knowledge. <laughs> you look pretty confident this time. All Them right. thighs, though. Let's you look thighs. Oh my gosh. Remember, you must be graceful and elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. That would be most unsightly. Knocked or launched into the air? What do you mean? Just remember, don't get knocked or launched into the air. That would be most inelegant. We must slow down. We must savor our food. That won't do. You what the fudge? No need to worry. Head back to the starting point. And when did I touch that? It'll be difficult at first. But the key is to remain patient. Let's try again. Remember, you must be elegant. Don't get knocked or launched into the air. I could have sworn I bypassed the thorns. What the freak was that? Whoa. That won't do. You've exposed your shortcomings. Oh, no wow. Head back to the starting point and try again. That is... It'll be difficult at first. Remember. Can I? Hold on. I want to try something. Oh, wait. I do this. I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. I didn't see, I didn't see the, uh, the puffer fruit. I didn't see the puffer fruit. I did not see the puffer fruit. Oh my gosh, I can do this. It's not that hard. Now that I know I can use Shinion's elemental skill, I can bypass this. Okay, whatever. I know what to do. And it's quite easy to... Just... So let me just use Shinion's skill. This one, two, three. We, we gliding. We gliding. Oh, oh! Elegantly stepping here. Let's go. All right. Not bad. A lot better than I had anticipated, at least. Hyman almost didn't make it through. Good thing we didn't get stuck. Um. So. Are we aristocrats now? Aristocrats. <laughs> I love Don't that. That was a nice ad lib there. We've only just begun. This I need to know who the voice actress is for Paimon. I forget her name. In the face of a she is battle, doing a great job as Paimon. Just saying. have a chance to stop and evaluate the situation. There's a ley line monolith just up ahead that will attract nearby monsters. True elegance is the ability to calmly yet swiftly make decisions in the heat of battle. Is this how you normally train? I wonder if you are so skilled. My family set only the highest expectations for me. Even as a child. Let's proceed, shall we? I'm glad that you were able to keep up. Not many children can keep up with that. Just saying. Oh, wait. If this mon- Oh. 
This is the monolith for commission quests, too. Karina Volker? Oh, really? Well, is it? Well, uh, Karina Volker, you're amazing. Defeat... Big 20 enemies, there we go. Do that. Do this. I still forget to switch out with Barb. Oh. Okay. I hate that sound effect. Woo! Nice. Thanks for telling me the voice actor, by the way, I appreciate it. Your performance was most impressive. And you managed to remain calm even in these grueling dragon spine surroundings. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if even I could have done the same. Given such an outstanding performance, it seems there is little left for me to teach you. Like Paimon said, adventuring is our specialty. Uh, <laughs> so, that's it for our training, right? Then let's get out of dragon spine before Paimon turns into a popsicle. <sighs> Hold on. I was commending the Traveler's performance just now. Uh-oh. You, on the other hand, seem to have made no progress at all. You're set in her sights. Uh, what? You mean Paima was also part of the training? Yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing about throughout the entire thing. Not an elegant sight at all. Did Dang. Did you even listen to anything I was trying to teach you? Maybe the weather is just too cold here. Maybe that's just Paimon's style. Whatever the reason, not heeding my instructions. A cause for vengeance, perhaps. Huh. Now, drink this. Huh? What is it? <gasps> Are you trying to poison Paimon? Certainly not. It's warm milk. Aww. Didn't you just say that you are freezing? Drink it and it'll help warm you up. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, are you still planning on the whole vengeance thing? If I wasn't, then why would I care about you being cold? If you turned into a Paimon Popsicle, that would ruin my plans for vengeance now, wouldn't it? So, dear friend, don't die on me out here. Aww. Knew something was off. Thank you for looking after Paimon. You're strange. All in the name of vengeance. No need to thank me. Now then, given that your training is complete, it's time we return to Mondstadt. Our last step will be preparing a cordial gift to present to my uncle when you meet him. I already have something in mind. Let's pay Sarah a visit at Good Hunter. Oh shoot, Good Hunter? I haven't heard that name in a while. Da na 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 da na. Sarah. Hey, why Amber? What's up? Ooh, the blades! Dang! Whoo! Got a glimpse of something nice. Oh, hey, Eula. I see you've met the honorary knight. We meet again, Amber. Seems we're just bound to run into you these No, days. I can't. She's too hot. Well, I just Even though her element a bite is cryo. But now that you're here, why don't we all eat together? Very well. <laughs> you can only so, eat so much white meat. Fair enough, together. fair enough. Come, take a seat. We can discuss my uncle's gift while we eat. Accepting Amber's invitation, you and Eula sit at the table. Yes. Is there something else you'd like to order? Could you please prepare a serving of my uncle's favorite, Gebrotenness Fleisch mit Sauerkraut? We'll take it as a gift to him later. Gesundheit. Coming right up. I would have <laughs> butchered that name. To prepare. I'll have it here at the counter once it's ready. Uh, hold on a moment. What the fudge? Is this satisfying salad also something that Amber ordered? No, she didn't order it. But because she didn't order any vegetables, I thought I'd throw in a salad on the house. You know. To contrast all the meat dishes. Yeah, because I'm not going to. So, we clearly didn't order this, yet you prepared it without authorization. <laughs> Mark my words, Eula. this transgression will not go unnoticed. Seriously? Uh, you're gonna take revenge on her for giving us a free salad? Hm. You should know me by now. That's the kind of villainous character I am. Well then, uh, please wait a moment while I get the dish for your uncle started. <laughs> Delicious unauthorized delicacies. Sarah will pay for this. Is this how she acts with friends? What Sarah is precious. I cannot imagine how the voice actress had to say that line. 
That's a really messy line <laughs> to say as a voice actor. As my uncle would know about the dish. The old aristocrat seemed to take a liking to it. Because of the sour flavor of the sauerkraut, not too many people are fond of it these days. I guess it's become less popular over time. Eula treated me to the dish once, and I couldn't even finish a bite. I've nicknamed it Gebratenes Fleisch mit Vengeance ever since. Ugh. I never expected us to have such completely different tastes in food. If I weren't in such a good mood, I'd say that constitutes grounds for transgression. So, uh, huh. So even Amber doesn't escape your vengeance. Of course not. It's hard to find someone in Mondstadt that attracts contempt as much as she does. <laughs> it's fine when you're just joking between us. But I'm afraid our honorary knight might misunderstand you. Eula's always talking about vengeance, but that's just how she is. It's nothing you should take too seriously. But I am serious. And I'll remember every transgression committed against me. It's no wonder so many people dislike you. Paimon's starting to realize that Eula is actually a very good person. Is Eula what we call a tsundere? So oh, Noel. Apparently there's a hangout event for Noel. <sighs> Listen. Noel deserves Aether's seat. Hmm. Have you. Uh, how so? Well, no? So that's why you wouldn't understand how hard it is for a bad person to try to be good. It's impossible for me, and I have no intention of acting like a good person. Oh, I can relate to you on that. All right, no need to look so sullen. You all need to be the night. Oh. Come on, let's eat. The food is getting cold. After an awkward pause, everyone resumes cheerfully chatting and enjoys the meal. Oh, I'm stuffed. I'll see Sarah about the bill. No need. I've left the mora under the plate. If you try to settle it with her in person, she won't accept payment for the salad. Don't underestimate my ability to exact revenge. <laughs> Sarah won't get the upper hand this time. All right. Next oh, so her revenge to Sarah was paying back for the, the salad. Mountain near Springvale. He usually whiles his time away. There Not some random on the first day. Oh. Uh, aren't you coming with us, Yula? I'm afraid that wouldn't be very convenient for me. It'd be better if you two went alone. Ah, yes. Please do remember to pick up the dish from Sarah. I still have more recon to do in the wilderness. Well, until next time. Let's meet again. What an interesting bunch you are. Here, the Gabratinus flesh mit sauerkraut huh? is ready to go. Aether becoming night day one? Be sure oh. While it's hot. Otherwise, the flavor will be spoiled. And by the way, don't worry too much when Eula says strange things. She's actually a very good person. Paimon's been meaning to ask. No one could stand the sight of Eula when she was trying to speak with the others in Mondstadt earlier. But she seemed to get along fine with you and Amber just now. What's up with that? The people of Mondstadt don't take kindly to anyone bearing the Lawrence name. They are unable to see past her family. Therefore, they don't actually see Eula for herself. So no matter what Eula tries to do, it's seen as a wrongdoing. It essentially strips the meaning of anything she tries to accomplish. I think I understand now. So that's what she meant when she said it was hard for a bad person to try to be good. How come you're able to see Eula differently then? Well, when she joined the Knights of Fafonius, it caused quite an uproar. Many people signed a petition demanding that the Knights reverse their decision. At the same time, numerous members of the Lawrence clan crowded the entrance of the Knights of Fafonius headquarters, clamoring for Eula to give an explanation. Oh. So both sides were unhappy. That's right. So you can imagine how determined Eula must have been under such circumstances. But thanks to Grandmaster Varka and the unwavering... When is Grandmaster Varka going to make a, Vernius, like, appearance in the game? They were able to quell the unrest. Tensions still remain... Because I know it's like the, the Grandmaster is Varka, but like... In the eyes of the people, when is he going to appear? On the is it going to be in that one? Because it'd be cool to see how war, busted he is. She's a disgrace to her family. But she simply fulfills her duty as a knight, silently helping one person after another, myself included. People like Eula should be approached with care and understanding. She could stand to be treated a little more fairly. It's good that you're able to understand her. If only there were more people like you. I believe a day will come when things will get better. Once everything's settled, we should go talk to I don't blame you. I love Eula, too. Hyman thinks we know how to communicate with her now. I'm glad. I think that would make her very happy, though she might not ever admit it. Take care. Please come again. Roger Dodger.
Uh, through head towards Springvale and look for Schubert. Schubert lives in Springvale? Huh. Oh yeah, Kala Lilies. We're gonna probably need that for Kai as Ascension. Ugh. Schubert? Is this where you live? Ted seems to be pretty tattered, but there's a really fancy chair. Could this be another aristocratic custom? Ah, it's you again. I thought I had rid myself of you two. We have heard that aristocrats are most magnanimous. Please, if I may be so bold as to say a few humble words. Magnanimous? Yes, indeed, that is true. Very well. I'm certainly not one to be narrow-minded. I'll overlook your previous misconduct for now and listen to what you have to say. Wow, this guy thinks so highly of himself. Before I go further, I wish to express any will of resistance. It is an honor to stand before you here, immersed in your supreme brilliance. Hmm, it appears I have misjudged you. Supreme brilliance. The glory of the nobility that continues to this day. A true loyalist. Impressive. My intentions were to test your humility. It appears you have become well versed in our etiquette. Oh, so he was testing us. Sheesh, what an ordeal. Your conduct is satisfactory. I must say, such progress in such a short time is practically unfathomable. If I may ask, from whence did you learn such a civilized manner of speech? I was fortunate enough to benefit from the knowledge of a dear friend. I refined my conduct with some instruction in the classics, courtesy of a dear friend. Ah, good. Very good. You are bright, and compared with the common folk of Mondstadt, you certainly have potential. If you were of aristocratic blood, your prospects would be promising indeed. By the way, we brought a gift! Hi, my means. We would like to present you with a small token of our goodwill. Nice save, Paimon. Could this be? Gebratnes Fleisch mit Sauerkraut? It's evident that your sentiment is genuine. As a young person nowadays, only with no small effort could you achieve such a dish. It's been so long since I dug into a big, tasty... I, I beg your pardon. What I mean to say is... Since it's nearly meal time, that's the uncle. I shall partake. Schubert relishes the gibrat gibratinous flesh mit sauerkraut. Ah, flesh. Yes. Did I say it right? This aroma. Oh, <laughs> just as I I'm sorry to have second thoughts about that writ because I think this is a song. Mm. A delicacy that only us. I am sorry to sympathize or empathize with this person. I think like th he actually lives here. I acknowledge your genuine goodwill. Such sincerity must certainly imply that you come bearing a request. It seems there is word that the Lars family has a grand scheme of sorts. Uh, wait, so you've come to know of this, too? It was meant to be a family secret. I wish to lend you a helping hand. I would like to do what I can for the nobility. Hmm. Well, considering your meticulous etiquette, yeah, if, I, if it's an act, I'll forgive. However, I think he just admitted to colluding with the Fatui. Please, come with me. We happen to be in need of competent fellows like yourself. Where are we going? To see some friends from a distant land. They have offered... Okay, no. Yeah, no, no, no. No, he's bad. He's a bad dude. He's a bad person. I think we need to be careful. Perhaps this is what the old aristocrats see as most important. Well then, let's get going, shall we? You'll understand everything in due course. I mean, yeah, we do mess around with child. He a cool do you dude. Think his friends are the Fatui? I think so. Things will get sticky if the Fatui happen to Wait. recognize you. I hope it's not the Fatui. I hope it's not the Fatui. Fatui. If it is the Fatui, I'm gonna be so sad. I would have been like, man, I've wasted my pity on this man for none. Is it an Oceanid? Please tell me it's an Oceanid. Please? Pretty please? Yep. Is it an Oceanid? Where are you? Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh no. 
behind enemy lines. After winning Schubert's trust, he has decided to take you to see his friends from a distant land. The Fatui may be skulking within, so make sure to be fully prepared before stepping forward to investigate. Here, let me help you. I am not liking this. I cannot believe it. This guy is bad news. Huh? Why have you put on a mask all of a sudden? I don't wish to be seen by any strangers. It is only proper for aristocrats to wear a mask. Hmm. Even if they are powerful, our status is much higher I know, than right? in the land of Mondstadt. And therefore, we shouldn't allow them to admire our true faces so easily. I see. <laughs> Good thinking. Paimon thought for sure they'd recognize us. Paimon, why don't you wear Let's a mask too? You, shall we? I'll introduce you as my guest. As you'll see in a moment, there are many already helping us. Oh, shoot. I heard that this area had already been purged once by the Knights of Favonius, but it's the only place around Mondstadt that is well concealed and spacious enough. Although it has fallen into disrepair and does not suit the tastes of the nobility, we simply have to make do for now. Uh, sorry. Um, can we walk any faster? Of course not. An aristocrat always moves with grace in his steps. As expected. It's the Fatui! As expected? Uh, because we always see them around the city. Um, they must be very powerful. <laughs> huh. Nothing more than foreign ruffians with power and the ability to flaunt it. But they are favorable. Hold it right there! Who's this? If you really must know, they're my guests. If you happen to offend them in even the slightest, then you will be held accountable by the Lawrence clan. But this matter is of utmost secrecy. We must exercise caution. You dare question the ways of a nobleman? I don't have time for this. Make way. No need to sound all high and mighty like that. <sighs> Fine. You may proceed. You. Of course. Door of Resurrection? Of prestige. In past times, it would be a I'm pretty sure it is, to too, yeah. Hmm, I think it is. Manner. I wonder what gave it away. The Fatui, like, people the from the, the, all the people here with the Fatui <laughs> clothing and stuff? Such glory will return to me again before yeah, just a hunch. I, 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 I think it's, I think it made the book on the ground, you know? Bro, and you said the mask Ooh, wouldn't hide anything for right there. We mustn't bring just anyone in here. This is our new ally that I've recently met. They are completely I know, right? You have the word of the Lawrence clan. It's a pleasure to meet you. Our plans are strictly confidential. It's not I just hope that this guy I hope that uh this dude is actually not working with the Fatui. He's actually a double agent. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, I think I am Batman, right? Well in but in like Genshin. Ability. So I'm like Genshin Man or something. Treat them with the proper mutual respect. The Knights of Favonius pay no regard to such details. They could never understand the intricacies of our etiquette. And what about this thing? Uh, you mean Paimon? Enough! You dare question my word? Need I remind you who it is who has made your activity in Mondstadt possible? Without the support of the Lawrence clan, you would have all been driven out by the Knights of Favonius like dogs. You must immediately offer your sincerest apologies to my friend. You've offended their honor. <laughs> Fine. I'll take your word and make no further inquiries. Now, to the matter at hand. Did you bring the diagram of Mondstadt's defenses as promised? What's going on here? Yes, of course. Here it is. Let me see. Huh. Why is it so poorly drawn? Everything's so squiggly and crooked. A and what is this shape supposed to be? Excuse me. I'll have you know that I went to great lengths to carefully draw this map by hand myself. That shape is the symbol of the Knights of Favonius. Huh. 
I see. Crude, but I can make do. Are you able to verify that this is all reliable information? Of course, you needn't worry about that. Don't forget what we agreed upon. The flag of the Lawrence clan will fly above the Knights of Favonius headquarters. The rights to that building, as well as the whole of Mondstadt, belong to the Lawrence clan. Yes, yes, we will both profit from this agreement. There's no use haggling over the details. We will make good use of the intel you provided. Also, be certain not to divulge our identity. There would be diplomatic consequences, you know. I want to say no that worries, Schubert is a double agent for I, Mondstadt. And my new friend here. No one else will know of it. Once this is over, I shall stand atop the Favonius headquarters and rebuke their pathetic rule over Mondstadt. Wait, what if Schubert has the same, like, the mindset as Yula? The whole, like, vengeance once thing. Once again be under the rightful and unwavering rule of the Lawrence clan. I don't know, it feels like he's really milking the Lawrence clan so much just to be, like, a double agent. Just as it should be. It just feels like he's acting like a double agent. I don't know. May I remind you once again that we mustn't act rashly. That is all for now. Very well. Very well. Huh? What are you doing? No need to keep up appearances. The jig is up. That's right! It's the honorary knight and their trusty companion, Paimon! We're here to crush your evil schemes into dust! Dust! And breathe. I think they got the message, Paimon. So this was all just a ploy to deceive me! It's your own fault! Who would put so much trust in someone based purely on their manners? After so much planning, this is how it ends? Huh. We'll see about that! Just as I expected. I knew I should have never trusted these foolish aristocrats. No matter. We already have the intel we need. Get them! They're running off in different directions. Grimo remembers that this place is a dead end. Let's take care of the Fatui first and then deal with Chubert later. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? I'm bonking you like crazy. You wanna dress up like the Fatui for Renfair? Oh, that'd be cool. Don't touch me! Get out of my way! I'll leave on my own! It seems we finally caught up with you. This place is crawling with Fatui. Oh, it's you. It seems your investigation went well. It was all worth it. Things progressed much faster than we anticipated. Aha! Uh -huh. I see now. So you're the one that taught them our etiquette. And I thought you despised such pleasure. I had hope for this man. Furthermore, there is a rule in our family. Such traditions are never to be taught to outsiders. Ah, uh, yes. Rings a bell. So what? I had no reason not to teach them. You have brought shame to our family and ruined my plans. It's all for naught now. I know that you poured great efforts into these plans, Uncle. But you were well aware that it was not the right thing to do. As a Knight of Favonius, I could not overlook your actions. Knight of Favonius? Let's get one thing straight. I am your uncle, and you are a member of the Lawrence clan. You should strive to restore your family's glory. You still have a chance. Defeat every Knight of Favonius here, and leave with me. Then I shall plead with the family to spare you, and give you a new beginning. So just to be clear, you want a Knight of Favonius to attack the Knights of Favonius? I shall say this one last time. You are not a Knight of Favonius. You are a descendant of the Lawrence clan. The blood of the Lawrence clan... Bro, his hands are shaking. That's so funny. <laughs> That's how they did that shaking the hands. That's so funny. Since when have oh, I shaking hands. With the will of the family? Why, you... You unruly maid. If anyone should be angry, it should be me. As a member of the Lawrence clan, you knowingly plotted against the city of Mondstadt and threatened its safety. Had you ever stopped to consider the trouble it would bring to so many people? Had you considered how many enemies you would make trying to keep the plans under wraps? 
You dare lecture me? That's right. What a backhand of this dude. Family that you so dearly revere. Wait, what? Schubert. I've never experienced Wait, Noelle? How is, is Noelle a part of this? And I've never understood our family's incessant pursuit of it. But I am capable of discerning right from wrong. Oh, the maid and song. Freedom means okay. to the people of Mondstadt. The Lawrence clan should never and will never become what you've dreamed it to be. Oh, the disgrace of it all. How could such a rebellious monster emerge from our own family? Huh. Things are starting to get pretty hysterical here. Politeness and elegance seem to have gone out the window. That's enough fuss for today. You two, take them away. The honorary knight and I have other matters to attend to. <sighs> Given that you've already taken action, I, I know, right? Come across some conclusive evidence. The Fatui are in position of a diagram of Mondstadt's defenses. The Fatui are planning something terrible. Hyman took a peek at their diagram. Your uncle had mapped out all of the knight's patrol routes and marked out key information about Mondstadt. Oh, you forgot the fact that he horribly <sighs> drew it. And there was me thinking that he was just another elder of the family. And a lazy one at that. I never suspected he could stoop this low. So stubborn. Mark my words. Vengeance will be mine. Let's discuss this later. Our first priority is recovering that diagram. More speed. Crush! Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Yeah. I have Shenyun, so I'm good. They're here! Stop them! Oh, okay. Shudder! That seemed to work. Beg for mercy. Oh. Is there a chest in here? Oh, there is. Let me just rob this place real quick. Nice. Oh man, it was it's nice to play as Eula. Too bad I don't have her. Big Sag. Hello! Okay, okay, this requires this. This requires Shedgen. Get killed, Joy. Coward. Who's a coward? Use Yula while you got her. Ah. I would. I feel like Shenyun though. Oh. Oh, there we go. Don't worry. I'm helping her. I'm avenging her clan for her. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, good, good. Get, just stay there. Darn it, he didn't stay there. Vaporize, baby! Damn! Can you like... There we go. Oh, another one? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ugh! That man stands, yeah. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Hold on. What? Why? Let me just do this. And eh? What the heck? You're in for a little shot. Am I? Oh. Aether has yeah, Aether always had a voice, what do you mean? Stray cloud converged. Can you like literally please just fall over? Ow! 
rude. Any uh, chests of the opening variety here? Is there any chest I could possibly just check for? No. All right. Well, I'll just go ahead then. Oh. Oh. Can I do something? Oh. Did it go up? It did. Oh, well. Oh, my bad. Come back down! Oh, it's Sergey. Yeah, okay, sure. It's gonna be easy, though. I'm just saying, it's gonna be very easy to face you. Fatui are coming? I mean, I'll just... Okay. Hot, right? Yeah. Bro, I am pounding this dude. He's done. Eh, he's done. Wait, do I have to hurt you too? Oh shoot. There we go. Oh! This must be it. They may very well have already made a copy of it, but without my uncle as their puppet, there'd be no use in them attacking the city. The Fatui wouldn't have relied only on your uncle. True. But if their plan had hinged purely on taking Mondstadt by force, as opposed to with the help of a puppet, they could have spared themselves the trouble. The Fatui are dishonest, but they wouldn't go as far as to start an open war. Their opposition wouldn't just be Mondstadt alone. Right, that's what I was thinking. That would be putting the cart before the horse. Anyway, I'll inform the acting Grandmaster. She'll know how to handle things from here. By the way, why did you follow us here? appeared at just the right moment. Yeah, about that. Because you stole my targets by attacking the Fatui I'd been tracking earlier, I came to exact my vengeance. You tried to do my job for me, and I'm here to return the favor. So getting the diagram Mondstadt's defenses was your way of exacting vengeance? Guess we're even now, right? Finally! After all this time, Paimon understands what you're saying! In reality, you sense that something might happen to us during our investigation! You were worried about us and your uncle, so you brought a team to take a look! My purpose was vengeance. Don't twist the story. It's classic Sundere. You don't look too bright, but it turns out you have a knack for scheming. And mark my words, I'll remember that. Hey! What do you mean Paimon doesn't look too bright? You have seeded a deep enmity between us. Just you wait. Even if you were to be completely destroyed, I would never forget you. So does that make us your arch enemies? Bring it on! <laughs> I like your fighting spirit. I'll take this diagram back to the Knights of Favonius and take it from here. Sure! Well, see you around! That you will. And make sure not to steal my targets next time. Oh? We finished it! Oh shoot. Alright, well... We're good. Leave. Don't want to be in that domain any longer. Well, who know? Finish a story quest in a domain. Wow, it's back to just being a plain old asset. Okay. Boar! That's right. I hate these boars. They were the bane of my existence when I came back playing Genshin. Okay, there we go. And... Ooh. I need a bit more. I'll probably pull tomorrow. Six days. 
Ah, oh, shoot. Seven days. Oh, well. All right, guys. That's it. That's it. Guys, thank you so much for watching the stream. I hope you guys have a good rest of your Tuesday, because uh, I know I am going to sleep. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday, and hope you have a good Wednesday tomorrow. Peace. See you later, you guys.